NFL Sunday Night Football. I'm LJ Smith. Joining me alongside in the booth is Ryan Paul in a much anticipated Sunday night matchup between Trenton BIC and the Renegades out of East Orange, New Jersey. It's been a long time since we commentated together, my man. I'm, yeah, listen, I'm happy to be back with you, but it's funny that you start off with uh, much anticipated because you're telling me <laughs> there's no way the Renegades got a shot here tonight. No and I, way. And I think there's a I think there's an listen, upset in the let making. Let me tell you, I was looking at I was on a, I was on a pregame looking at Corey Hammond throwing some footballs without without pressure. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, Corey's in shape. I mean, I haven't seen him in shape like this, I think, since high school, which was like maybe 17 years ago. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's, he's looking good. good. He lost some weight. And, uh, you know, he's focused. When you're looking at looking at him out there, you know, he knows where, what he wants to do with the football. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, they only lost to the U. They yeah. had a convincing win against Spanktown. No, I mean they got manhandled by the U, though. Let's let's. let's I mean let's. they lost twenty eight to six, and they didn't have Corey that night. You mm-hmm. know, like so yeah. it could have been. It should have been. Look, everybody else they used played. They put up fifty points pretty much. You know, yeah. except for the Renegades. The BIC is flying high. You know, this is a track game for them. You know, they play to their level as opponent. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So especially with Corey Hammond, the Renegades. Let's first break down some of the three key keys to the game here. Um, one one thing I want to point out is just keeping Hammond comfortable in that pocket. Um, as long as they, as long as Hammond can stay comfortable in that pocket and contain KWAC uh, at all costs, I think the Renegades they'll be successful. Uh, second point I want to touch: if the uh, Renegades defense could contain a rejuvenated uh, Courage Mosley, you know he's been. Everyone's been saying that he's been. Um, He's been kind of like, you know, uh, the shell of himself. And ever since they've been talking trash about Courage, he's been making plays, you know? You know, my dad says it all the time, man. You can't tell a champion that he's done. You can't tell a veteran (laughs) that it's over for him. You can't light that fire under a guy like that and think he's just going to go away quietly because he's going to start asking himself, you know, am I done, am I done? Then also Dondre Haynes is there as well. So, you know, Dondre Haynes playing both sides of the ball. You know, my man Megatron making plays on the, on the defensive side as well as, you know, they pull him a lot on a lot of counters and a lot of tosses. So, and you're using him as a lead blocker. So, definitely for the Renegades, you got a lot of um, their key players, they got to make plays. And now let's talk about real quick about BIC now. I know that's uh, one of your fan favorites, BIC. Um, what is your thoughts about the BIC? I mean, I don't think the Jets could line up on defense and cover the receivers that BIC yeah, has. That, you think that? You, you think oh, that yes. You split out Ashanti. You split, and, and Zakis Wright is not even here yet. You split out Ashanti, you split out Riddick. Those guys can get carries. Those guys can throw the ball. Mm-hmm. They could throw the ball behind their back. They'd be the fastest guys on the field if they were playing against the Jets. I mean, the Jets <laughs> suck, but I'm just saying, the Jets would have a problem covering Ashanti them up. and Riddick. And now throw courage into the mix and the new and the new quarterback, COD, that's coming into them. I mean, they just have way too much firepower. They can only beat themselves this year. And here we go, folks, on a three-on-one throw of the most exciting time in the game. And Ashanti, my man Hollywood, let's see if he can make a play. Getting up to the 30, you know he does a lot of stop and go. Haynes can't go. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Megatron lets him know. Hollywood, that is not the Hollywood that we've been looking for. And that's going to be a lot of the Renegades' answer today. That man right there. You know what? He's out just like anybody else, playing with a purpose. Mm-hmm. He's playing both sides of the ball, like you said. He's playing special teams. How many times do you see Ashanti Worthy get tackled one-on-one on a three-on-one? Never. In his career? Never. You're right. Never. So, Never. Real, so real quick, as BSC is in a huddle, um, some of the takeaways I've said that, you know, as far as BSC, three keys to the game for this for this right here is they got to shut down Corey Hammond with a timing route, um, contain Dondre Haynes, as we said. He just already made a play, big play right there. And can BIC break the curse? They have a tendency of, like you said, um, playing to their opponent and, 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 and losing the big game. So we're going to see it right now as they break the huddle. And with CP3 out, Sterry Conjurton, who looked like a stud last week, 400-plus in the air. He's extremely – listen, he looks like he's been here for years. This is the second time I've seen him play. Mm-hmm. He's super comfortable back there. I mean, at least he was against the Animals putting up 50 points. He's going to be up against a totally different pass rush today. And Matt Rick over here to the it is, oh what a hit so far, but nothing on the play. Get him about two yards on the play. That'd be a second and about eight. 
I don't see courage. That's Usually, a, courage. You know, courage likes to pull up. You know, courage likes to pull up late in the second, though. You know, he's coming all the way from Queens. Uh, you know, it's definitely a far ride from him. You yeah. know, we love to see him out here, but I, you know, I think they'll be fine. Oh, they gave him a favorable spot now. So looking about second and five. Conjure in the shotgun set, play action. Quarterback keep over here to the left. Conjure got that speed, breaks one, out of bounds. All the way down to the, f it looks like it's closer to the 40. So that'll be a first and 10, B-I-C. He's just smooth, you know, like, I don't think anybody's a bigger CP3 fan than me. I mean, I'd never really seen too many football players with so much heart. Are you, saying that, are you, are you about to say some blasphemous stuff that you say that he's better than CP3? CP3 got an MVP of the championship. I, like I just said, I don't think you'll find anybody that's a bigger CP3 fan than me. But that's like saying no disrespect, but. It's not a but, <laughs> but I mean, like, you know what? If this kid performs again today, I mean, you know, wh where are you, are you going to put him at receiver? I mean, he can't just sit on the bench and be a backup. No. CP3 can't sit on the bench and be a backup. I mean, I guess that's one of the cool things about the A7FL. I mean, you see a lot of interchangeable parts on offense, a lot of guys that could play quarterback, receiver. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this guy could probably play receiver, but you don't see those things from CP3. You know, he's strictly a quarterback, at least in this league. Yep, as BIC breaks a huddle, Hollywood in motion in the backfield. Another inside hit. Ooh, what a hit, what a hit. Dondre Haynes. None of that, none of that. Again, folks, so you gotta keep him in you gotta keep him in check. 44 Dondre Haynes. He is a big boy. He's a big boy. He's coming full speed. When that man hits you, you feel it. Yeah, you know, he covers a lot of ground. He's got a huge wingspan. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he he creates separation instantly. You know, he's not one of these unskilled defensive linemen that's just bumping bodies at the line of scrimmage, man. Right. He's putting his hands out there, he's creating separation, he's getting off blocks with ease, and he's making plays. Got and they got a good linebacker core too. They got a good defense. Yeah, they, they actually they got a, a nice defense indeed, especially make, breaking those um, no missed tackles so far. And Ashanti has to break the huddle. Hollywood, Ashanti Worthy to the bottom of the screen, and my man Beep Beep, who got the keys to the beat at slot at the top, and Crooms at the top as well. Pressure, Haynes can't get there, and he's using them legs again. Oh, it's the rap. I don't hear no whistle, and that is out of bounds all the way down to looks look. Close to the 50, that'll be a close to the first down. Let's take a look here. Every single jersey I've seen get grabbed like that this year has been, like, torn off. You know, BIC's had these baby blues, they call them. This is the baby baby blues with the stars for, like, four years, mm -hmm. and they just don't rip. I mean, I heard this, the snap of that horse collar from up here. Yeah. That thing is just glued to him. That's a good quality there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good quality indeed. Number 23 right there, uh, uh, why you do that, KWAC. Carl, Carl, he's one of my X-Factors for today's game. For today's game, he's playing both sides of the ball here today. Tight end. Um, actually, he's playing tight end, offensive line, and he's also playing DN. So he's another one of those unique athletes, you know, that mm -hmm. plays in the box, just like Dondre Haynes. You know, it's, it's, he's not a flash guy that's playing receiver, quarterback, but he does a lot of stuff. And that is another tackle, but that is a, another tackle over here at the right side of the field. So it looks like he had close to a, about a seven-yard play. And looks like we're gonna get a second. Looks like it'll be a second and a long four. And I need Bastion too. Who you like in this game? I like the Renegades. Yeah, I do. The you were coming up to me. They ran up to me on the sideline. Said the uh, they, they said LJ the the I'll take the Renegades on the money line. Which was what? Twenty <laughs> five. I, I said twenty five exactly. I said twenty eight. Actually, I said twenty eight. But I said money line. No, I'm not gonna make no money that way. <laughs> you know, the Renegades are out here thinking they're going to win this game, man. They're not yeah. out here thinking they're playing some superior opponent. They come into every matchup believing that they could win, and, you know, that that, that goes a long way. Back to live action. Conjuring, the shotgun set. He got to make a pass sometime. Megatron almost there. Incomplete. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't like the way that ball came out. I'm not, he's going to have to ball, He's gonna have to pass the ball eventually to beat this Renegades defense. I mean, when you got a guy that's six foot five, six foot six, you know, <laughs> and you're running out of real estate, things start to fly out of your hands a little awkward sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> the field starts getting smaller and smaller. Now he's going to be tested today. I mean, you know, he put up 50 against the animals. I don't. I mean, he wasn't gloating. I didn't see him celebrate, and I don't think it got to his head. You know, he's a, he's a, from what I hear, he's a very established high school football player in the state of New Jersey. Yeah, just talking to him on the sideline. You know, I'm um, just you know, kind of just. Uh, just talking to them, you know, just get get a good feel of them. Very humble, very cool, mm -hmm. very relatable. So, um, very cool, very, very, very good, uh, good young man there.
as we got a third and about long four here. Contraton got to make a play in a shotgun set. Dropped back. Oh, here comes the pressure. Contraton going to use the lane to go dead pass. Contraton, of course, coming with the first down. Another one. That's too much blocking downfield. And what is the ref going to call? Out of bounds. Out of bounds. But the damage is done, and that is a first down. There was a lot of, I saw a lot of holding. I saw a lot of, like, a lot of side clipping. But you know what? Maybe the ref was looking the other way on that one. And he just makes it look effortless. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it doesn't look like he's running 100 miles an hour. He sees a little bit of real estate, and he takes off. He's very poised. He's not making stupid decisions out there. He sees 12 yards. He gets 12 yards. How many times he hasn't completed? But the, the thing is that he hasn't completed one pass yet, and he's moving them chains. Right. Yeah. That's all that makes. That's all that matters. <laughs> and again, folks, if you're just tuning in, I'm L.J. Smith alongside here with Ryan DePaul. We are in Asbury, uh, Asbury Statement in New Jersey, and you're watching the BIC out of Trent, New Jersey, versus the Renegades. Renegades is, is uh, BIC is in the sky blue, and the Renegades are in the white uh, fatigue with the black. And this is uh, Sterry Condrigen at quarterback in for CP3, who was missing an, who was missed today's game due to injury. And Condrigen got to make a play eventually. Play action. Condrigen got some time. Looks like he's dipped downfield. A uh, ball's up. Can he make a catch? Over through. Incomplete. He's definitely feeling that pressure. You know, it's getting him to getting to him a lot faster than it was last week. So, yeah, them, let's them see them Renegades. Let me tell you something. So, you know. I've been watching this. I've been watching this league for a while. We've been talking about the the, the stud defensive line of you know BIC. You know when they you know when they got all their studs. And we're talking about uh, the Savage. But let me tell you something. These these Savage. I mean these Renegades. These guys are getting in there. Oh yeah. So now we're looking at us. Now we're looking at a second and ten here. Eight minutes. We just got a little less than eight minutes left in the first quarter. So have you been following the scores around the league today? Uh, you know, know about what's going on? I heard. Um, Did you hear? Some some game got. Uh, no, no. Did you hear about um, you know? Baltimore. I heard about Baltimore. Did, no, but did you hear how the Hawks won today? Oh no, I didn't hear about the Hawks. I, oh. I know the you. I know. Well, obviously the U. If you U were to smack. take, being that I'm, being I have this big smile on my face. Did he? What do you think? Wait, who the Hawks beat? They played the Vipers. Yikes! Baltimore Vipers. I the Vipers were up at one point when I was watching. They were up the whole game. And the Hawks pulled it off. They oh. did. Well, let's see here. You would have been, been loving that game. It was uh, the Bobby Newman drive. And guess who caught the game winner in the back corner of the end zone? Don't tell me back. Please don't tell me. What do you think? Uh, let me guess. Um, Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> did he? Yes, he did. Wow. You yes, can't wait to did. post that highlight, huh? You he, can't wait. He can't wait either. Mike Liberty, man. You know, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 the Hawks are 1-3 and three now. You know, they, look, they had a big disappointment against Spanktown. They blew an 18-point lead. You know, to come back down for four quarters today and put together a drive like that. And our divide was tough. And our divide they was were tough. tough. They were tough. I mean, they had a 300-pound quarterback. That's cold-blooded. They were tough already. You already put them in the pass. They yeah, were tough. Yeah, I mean, listen, Baltimore is <laughs> – I don't know how much Baltimore film you've been watching. It's a tough division out there, man. Yeah. You know, like the Gators are super poised. Obviously, the Cobras are really good. They came within one point of BIC opening day. You know, they're, they're, they're stacked. Ooh, what a hit. What a hit. Man. Came full speed. Number 15. What a hit. And it's going to just, you know what, a couple things like that, a couple momentum shifts like that, and the Renegades are going to start believing. I'm telling you, Corey Hammond's licking his chops right now to get out there something. for this first drive. Let me drive. tell you something. Let me tell you something He's right gonna now. He's going to come out and tear hit. them up. He came full speed and took that. Oh, yeah. That, listen, this kid, wow. this, we're going to see what this kid's made of today, too. He's not going to, let me tell you something. Conjure is not going to, he's not going to be able to, be, he, he's not going to be able to take too many O's at quarterback. I, I mean, look, you could have the talent, but look. You know, you, you got to be able to orchestrate an offense in this 7-on-7, seven seven A7 NFL. Yep. It is different. You need to be able to call out your protections. You need to understand the timing is way different. If you don't have five guys in front of you blocking, that pass rush is coming fast. If these receivers aren't an option in a, in a second and a half, they're not an option. And keep in mind, folks, there is no, there is no punt in here. So now we're in four-down territory here. So he's going to take a shot. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Almost had it. You know what? That was a high-level ball, man. That was a great football. That was a great ball. That yeah. was a great ball. Listen. Great route, great ball. Those guys knew they were going to be able to hook up on anything. It was that deep post route, and they just I'm about surprised that he it. got that. I'm surprised that they even was able to get that. Was that I mean, fourth and what? It was fourth and forever here. Yeah. Yeah, they'll connect on that. So, yeah, so now, so that's a uh, Renegades now. Turnover, a turnover on down here. You know, I didn't know Petty Oat was back today. Yeah. He is. He, Petty Oat said, Petty Oat says, listen, man, I took, I took some of that biohemp, and I'm back. 
<laughs> and speaking of Biohemp, the uh, A7FL is proudly sponsored by Biohemp Plus. Unlike other pro football leagues, the A7FL's athletes have day jobs. After spending Sunday playing American Sevens football, they need to recover quickly to be ready for Monday morning. Biohemp Plus is specifically formulated to support your immune and central nervous system to help alleviate pain. Plus, when you go to BiohempPlus.com and use promo code A7FL, you'll get 20% off your order and free shipping. And you can enter to win a free month, six month supply of CBD. Live action. This is Corey Hammond, Cool Comic Collective in the building. The fans love him. The league, unfortunately, players, they hate him, but the fans love him. Jet sweep over here. Uh, oh, looking for the reversal. Katie Petty, the Hazen Sensation. None of that. None of that. The Hazen Sensation, Eddie Petty at the, uh, the bottom of your screen. Play action. Got some time. Hammond, nice ball up top. Incomplete. Looks like the wind caught it there. The wind caught that ball. And that is an incomplete pass to Ken Stewart, number four there. You know, I, I say that he missed him, but uh, he knows he had him. He had the time. Yeah. That's going to that's gonna play. Like that, That's a confidence builder, believe it or not. He, he had a guy open. Yeah. He had the time. He just plus didn't he put enough that, on plus it. Plus, you got to test that pocket. You yeah. Know? Because BIC, you, you never know you know, you know, never know what type of pressure um, KWAC and my man KC, the Sunshine Band over there, you never know what kind of pressure they're going to start bringing. And look at Corey Hammond here in the huddle. One of the, one of the most explosive players in the league right here, number four, the bottom screen, Eddie Pedio. They call him the Haitian Sensation. And in the, in the top of your screen, actually you've got two number fours here, uh, Ken Stewart at the top of your screen. Drops back. Corey Hemming always looking for that. With a comeback, what a catch. What a catch. What a catch. Had to make a had to come back for it. Ken Stewart making plays early. Them timing routes, them timing routes with the renegades, deadly. And you smile. Why every time he throws a football, you, know, you I, smile. I, Tell my, me eyes, why. my eyes must be playing tricks on me. I thought he dropped that ball. No, he came back for it. No, no, no. I never saw it hit the ground, but I mean I don't even understand how he caught that. So at first I was throwing he's throwing to one guy, but then he's throwing to a totally different guy. So as those chains as those chains moves, that'll be a first down renegades. Now let me tell you something, folks. The uh, the Ren the BIC sitting at sitting at the top of the league right now, undefeated, three and zero. So are the Gators. And so are the Gators so now. Are the U. And renegades after after getting a struggle, you know, after they've fallen losing that first game to the U, right? Bouncing back, and winning two straight. Yeah, and bit winning big. And winning big, yep. So so now so now Hammond is in control. And, and, and Word on the Street is the last time that, uh, that BIC had a winning record, Corey Hammond was quarterback for them. That's Word on the Street. So he had a this, great year that year yeah, with BIC. Yeah. So this is a huge game for him. This is one of those, like, you know, stick it to your game. Stick it to him. Back to live action. Uh, inside handoff. Oh, what a hit. Is that KWAC? Oh, that's my man Bang a Rang. Bang a Rang, Bang a Rang. You know, Stansberry was in injured last year, a knee injury. And, uh, you know, before he got hurt, man, to me, he was one of the scariest guys oh, on the field. Oh, man, he was. I mean, he's like Warren Sapp, but fast. He, tur he turned he, into, like, that coach role, and I didn't like that. He started turning to a coach. He couldn't play. He was hurt. I, but now he's back. He's and when back. He's, th that's what, when I saw him on the field, I knew for a fact B.I.C. was back. When you see him on the field. Yeah. Now it's a good-looking defensive front. I mean, they're missing Andrew Levine, but I saw um, – but still, they got Abdul Zalin, you know, I mean, Abdul Zalin, a vet, you know, a long-time vet, not the not the greatest corner, but can lock down those slots and lock down those average receivers, mm -hmm. decent speed. k Wack, you got k Wack and KC in the Sunshine Band giving you pressure. I mean, what I really think gives BIC the best look on defense is Jamal Harmon at safety. Uh, Hammond. I haven't seen him out there yet. Nice sweet ball. Can he come back? Oh, overthrew out of bounds. He has some time back there. So the so the renegades is giving him in time, but those receivers are not can't get can't escape away from BIC. Thirty six left, third and nine. We in the first quarter. Play action. Corey Hammond, cool, calm and collective. Looking for that ball. What a catch! What a catch! Wow! He slid in there, looking like looking very very. That's a that's a, if that's a possession catch at its finest. That was an incredible play. I mean, you know, he gets down on his knees like that, and he almost boxed the guy out so that that guy had no shot at making a play. What, that was an awesome what, play. What a play, what a pass, what a catch. For a second, I thought that was going to be an incomplete pass. And that, uh, and that uh, moved them change again, first and ten. Renegades. And BIC has got Andrew Levine. He is back. One and a half of Tango and Cash. Where is old school? The fans want to know where he is. You know, we come out of this first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. That's a win for the Renegades. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. They stopped them. Now they're driving. You know, they're going to take this break at the quarter. 
Corey's going to talk about a couple of things that he sees out here on defense. I got the Renegades up six nothing early in the in the uh, in the second quarter. Petty on the bottom of your screen, lined up. Corey Hammond gets a pressure from Tango Cash. Good drop off here. Whoa, run him over, young man. You are too little, and that is a first down. Man, oh man, what a pass, what a catch. You know, people, you got Petty out out there, and without him the first couple weeks, mm -hmm. Abe has been making some plays, man. You know, he's been their weapon on offense. He's been Corey's go-to guy, and uh, it's two big catches in a row on this drive. Two big catches. Yeah, great catches indeed. That third, down conver that third down conversion was huge before. And that is the end of the first quarter, folks. The score remains 0-0. Zero, zero. You know, we're off next week for Mother's Day. It's going to give a lot of these teams a little time to heal up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, take some Epsom salt baths or whatever. And, uh, you <laughs> soak, know, loose soak. And then, and then come week six, we're, we're right into the divisional round of the playoffs. Wow. I don't know how much film you've been watching uh, out in California, but that San Diego Predators team, they got a defense. Yeah. Not so much an offense. You know it takes a little time to develop the, you know, the offense and all that, but mm -hmm. they have a defense. They got, like, Is five the guys. Would you say the championship defense? Uh, I wouldn't say that, but I would say, like I said, I would rank them probably seventh overall right now in the league. My man, hold on. No, you did not just stop me stop and talk about their defense. You just, no. I can't talk about their offense. But you just said they got a top championship defense or whatever, and you said seventh. No, I'm saying seventh overall. I think they can come out here and compete with some of the teams in the East Coast. Some. Oh, seventh of the world. Oh, total. Seventh overall. Total. Oh, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. seventh okay. overall. All right, so they're like, a, they're like another Renegades. <laughs> I think the Renegades would beat them. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I think they're more organized on offense. Hey, folks, just want to um, just also just remind everyone, uh, join the A7FL Nation on social media and get into action. One highlights, we got crazy highlights from all the games around the league, plus amazing jukes and big hits. And even we just got, we just had a huge one that broke the internet last week uh, with the bat, with the behind the back touchdown from BIC that you're watching right now. Like, like or follow the A7FL on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can always find our latest news at A7FL.com. Again, if you just tuned in, I'm LJ Smith alongside here with Ryan DePaul. It is third, it is a third and ten. Corey Hammond got some time. Ball's up. Can he make a catch? Another one? Another great possession catch by Abe. Wow. What is the ref call? Out of bounds? Ooh. I'll see, this has been going on all day. I mean, I, like, I've seen so many people out of, even, even on guys that were running for touchdowns getting called out of bounds. Like, I don't know if this ref has a different uh, sideline or something. Hey, man, ref said, listen, maybe we're going to take some time. And folks, if you're new to the league, um, there is no there is no kicking. There's no center exchange, obviously, and there's no uh, there's no kicking involved in the league. So the, typically, once a team usually gets it down to like the 40 yard line, they are in four down territory. So uh, Renegades will elect right now. Obviously, they don't want to throw it off right now. Um, so they'll like to go ahead and go for it. So that'll be a, a fourth in a long ten. Cold blood, back to live action. Corey Hammond with the pump fake. Balls up. Hey, shit, 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 can you get there? Incomplete. There was some contact there. There was some contact. But they, but, but Abe over there is not letting go. They're not letting anything over there on that side of the field. So that pump fake allowed BIC's defender to be able to give him a little, a little jam right there at the line. And then just, just a little too much on, on that football there. You don't think the animals got some tools? No. <laughs> oh, come on, But ask man. me again. I mean, the, the, this is the thing, They're right? banged up right now. This you know, is the Irvine thing. didn't play today. Animals have Kevin White didn't play today. Animals have, of course they're not going to play today. And guess what? If they get smacked again, more guys are not going to play the following week. The, I think the, league the, is going to a, the league is going to a direction where teams are getting stronger and better. Um, and they've gotten stronger and better. Sister brothers, I know them well, good guys, great, but they got to transition. They're still in the mind frame of, of season one, year one, A7. They need to start getting to... They did really they, good in the free agency. They picked up some great free agents. They're yeah, just, so neither, now, they need us, now they need more. Hammond with a comeback. Is that a catch? Let's nah. see what the call And that is an incomplete pass. But again, the timing, the timing between Corey Hammond and his receivers, very tough for, for that to be covered there. So BIC all over everything there. So we're looking at it. We're going to look at a third and a long here. This is two down territory no matter what. Yep. Draw. 
you got to go to draw play right here. Sprint and draw, some type of a draw play. Catch up sleeping? Yeah, I mean, even if you only get four yards, no matter what, you're going for the fourth down. We don't kick field goals. No, wait a second. I said you know? third down, but it looks like the uh, on the field it says fourth down. So you're right, fourth down. Okay. So if it is fourth down here, I don't know what's going to do with that draw. With 12 minutes and a little bit more than 12 minutes left. Yep, not on fourth yep, down. Yep, fourth down, yep. It's a little bit more than 12 minutes left in the first half here. Renegades and BIC tied 0-0. Corey Hammond got to make a play. Drops back. Hammond, the pressure there. Hammond gets away. Hammond can't get away. No, no, no. Baker Rang says none of that. None of that, Hammond. That's a big time play there for Sansbury. That's Sansbury's. a huge play. What they said? How many did they said on that? And Hammond, you know, so funny. I thought Hammond was going to kind of like squeeze through there, and he was slipping and sliding. He was hipping and hopping, and all of a sudden, I just saw, I saw Stanberry arms and said, "No, no, no." That was it, man. <laughs> Once he got a paw on him, it was over. Yeah, man. Well, and great. good no call by the ref. I know people are screaming for a horse collar and no, and, let know, him play. Come on, it's football. on the back of the shirt. That's you know, that's a great sack. Yeah, no, that's let, a great let, sack. Him, let him play. Let him play. That's they were calling some of that a couple weeks ago and. Horse collar. Typically, because the horse collar was right, because you have the you have the pads, right? And typically, you use that to right. grab, to kind of weaponize, kind of grab that to use that as an advantage. But there's no horse collar. You know, you you got a jersey, so it's. I mean, it is dangerous getting tackled from behind like that and getting dragged down backwards. You know, but that's, like that's that. why they put the rule. No, no, that was clean. Yeah, that was clean. Bic now back on offense again. Condrigan got to make a play. Hollywood, Ashanti Worthen in the bottom of your screen. So I can tell you pre-snap, another mistake this rookie quarterback's making. He's not letting this tight end declare eligible. That, you know, if your tight end doesn't declare eligible, you don't have to cover him. It makes it a lot easier for the defense. And that's One another, less guy and that's to cover. another sec by the Renegades defensive line. And that's going to keep happening. If you don't account, if, if you don't declare your tight end eligible, you're coming out with a set with less eligible receivers. Mm -hmm. And the defense does not have to respect that that guy's an eligible target. And you're going to be able to bring extra pressure. No one has to cover the tight end. So now what's happened is that now as the Renegades, who, who everyone, everyone was saying that they were the, I'm sorry, BIC was a heavy favorite. Now, Renegades is clearly looking like they're their favorite, you know, controlling. I mean, like I have, like I said, I haven't seen, with the few, with the with the exception of a few big plays that that uh, Contrigan's used with his legs. What has, what has BIC done? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, they just came up with a big stop defensively. You know, we'll give them that. Well, defensively, yes. Yeah. BIC is always known to, for for defense, but offense. Oh, uh, there goes there, there goes your tight end. Check it in now. Yeah. And Riddick at the top of your screen, Ashanti Worthy, my man Hollywood at the bottom of your screen. Sterry Conjure in that quarterback here. I don't think that is Riddick set. on the top, by the way. Got to make some time. Whoa! Can he get there? Got the pressure. Got a lot of speed. What a tackle. Wow, what a play. What a play. Great tackle by Malik Brown there from the Renegades. That is what you call a dive tackle at its finest. You know Malik Brown... Is S is X S W J? Did you know that? No. He used to play corner for S W J. Really? Yep. Folks that don't know, S W G is a legacy team in this league that's won more championships than anybody. And you know, it's painful for me to have to say that. Yeah, well, I know, <laughs> I know it is because they're not a team from Sanford, New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now the Renegades are well built on defense. They got, you know, they're they're stacked at every position. I was talking to uh, number 21, my man, Mr. INT. That I call Mr. INT, number 21 for the Renegades. He is, I mean, with the exception of, um, obviously, um, you know, uh, the OG. Uh, but he, he he got a DB out there. He's 45 years old, man. Yeah, he had an interception last week. He got, he got a pick six, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's telling me about it. So, so far, Ashanti and Riddick, catchless. Renegades defense, balling, looking like... Looking like they are here. Draws back. Contra oh, here comes more pressure. Balls up. Incomplete. I'm sorry, folks. He doesn't have it. He is throwing. He's looking like Jay Smith out there throwing that football. <laughs> you know, I, like I like I said in the beginning of this game. I mean, we're gonna see how he deals with pressure. I don't think that 
that it's his. I don't think his. Uh, he doesn't have the ability to. He has the he ability has, to deal with the pressure. He doesn't understand the play calling yet. But the but the thing is that he's he's getting opportunities where he should be able to make a, 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 a complete a pass. Right. And it's look like a knuckleball is being thrown. And you know what? Like I promise you, he's probably never been hawked down like that from behind in his Regardless career. Regardless, though, uh, fair enough. That was right. an amazing play. That's got to be sticking out. All right, so right fair now. enough. But he's not. But he's not even making completing passes. I mean, it's. I have the eye, and I don't still see it. I don't. I don't. But again, you know, you know what they're gonna do. BIC is probably eventually gonna put, they put Riddick back there, quarterback, and Worthy back there, quarterback, and as long as they don't put Jalen Cruz back there, BIC still got an opportunity here to win. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm LJ Smith alongside here with Ryan DePaul. A little, a little more than eight minutes left in the first half. You're watching Trent BIC versus Renegades out of East Orange, New Jersey. And the score is 0-0 zero, zero here. Ken Stewart in the backfield. up oh, and, and make some adjustments here. Watch that quick screen. Of course, over here to Petty the Haitian Sensation. The Haitian Sensation's got some speed. He's going to fight for it. Great play call here. Looks like it's going to be a gain about eight yards on the play. So it's going to be a second in about two. That's Jamal Harmon coming up and making a big hit. You know, I think one thing that BIC's been missing almost forever is a dominant free safety like Harmon. Mm -hmm. He's also a guy that could play quarterback, so you know he's got a high-level football IQ. You so, know, he's a six-foot-three guy. So Ron Clark is not there. dominant no more? It's over him? Who's that? Ron Clark is over him? Ron Clark is not a free safety. A Ron Clark safety. is a cover a cover two corner or a strong Ron safety. Ron Clark is not a yes. cover two corner? Cover two corner. Okay. That's what Ron Clark is. Same thing with JJ. Those guys are guys that could... Press the number two receiver. Ron, cover to I could be Ron Clark on the fly right now. I'll tell you right now, he ain't got no speed. But you're absolutely right. Cover two with a safety up top. I can see that. Back to live action. Jet sweep over here to the right. Good blocking. Good blocking downfield. Great blocking. And he keeps it moving. He keeps it moving. Great run by Ken Stewart here, number four. You know, this is uncharacteristic of a, of a Corey Hammond called game. You know, he, he I don't want to say he likes to pad his stats, but he likes to pad his stats. Well, and, you know what? Uh, but guess what? It's working because everyone in their mama thinking that he's going to just drop back and just kind of pick him apart. And now they catch, they're catching BIC sleeping with these jet sweeps and these, uh, and these inside handoffs here. That was a nicely designed play. I mean, the blocking out front was good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I like Hammond. Hammond's getting strong. Every year, Hammond gets better and better. Um, they, Renegades has not had a winning season before Hammond got here. Right now, Hammond now Hammond's here, um, looking to see if they can move them up to three and one for the first time. As Hammond drops back, got good blocking right there. Ooh, over through, over through, covered by Abdul's Island right there, number three. You know, one of the other interesting games when we come back is going to be that six thirty game, Savage versus the U. Sunday night. And what do you think about that? I mean, you know, obviously Savage is struggling. I mean, they improved the two and two today. They lost to BIC. Savage got to figure out the quarterback situation. They got to figure out. They got to figure out the quarterback situation. They got. They don't. The they probably had. Savage is like. Savage is like one of those teams that have a new quarterback every year. And then they run. A, you can't run. You can't. I mean, with the exception of the Bombers, right? You can't run a two quarterback set in this league. And we talked about this the other day. Yeah. And almost every team runs a two quarterback. A, a lot of successful teams run a two quarterback set. What is Hammond doing? That was a blown play. That was a blow. His running back took him out. Let's see if he gets up pissed. No, but Hammond was trying to run the option. I I, I, I told know. him this. I told him this last year. Nobody, their mama, is thinking that Hammond's gonna keep that football. His speed level, his speed rating is a sixty-six. <laughs> I could probably get to the field and tackle him before he gets to the first. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those plays. It's like I got to keep him honest, you know. Yeah, but no, yeah, but yeah, absolutely right. And that's like you said, out of character. So they got to keep that. He's, he's doing keep that to him keep honest. Them. If you're just going to sit back there and drop back and pass every play, it makes it so easy for the defensive line just to pin their ears back and hurry up the field, you know? Mm -hmm. You need that run play to keep them honest. And plus, it helps your offensive lineman out. I mean, nobody wants to sit out there and pass block for four quarters. Let them have some fun. Let them pull and get out in front and block people. As Renegades break the huddle here, Stewart on the bottom of your screen. You know, it's another great game that we got coming up for that 4 o'clock when we come back from the Mother's Day break is Renegades. Timeout, Renegades. Renegades versus the Hawks. Renegades versus the Hawks? And let's, you know, that's a rematch. Nah, Re the Hawks knocked them out of the showcase last year. Nah, Hammond's coming for blood. I, I believe you. Hammond's coming for blood. I believe you, but, I mean, the Hawks are coming off a big win today, man. They needed that momentum shift. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, folks, uh, real quick here. Uh, if you want to ace official Ace NFL football, you want to rep your favorite team, the official Ace NFL, NFL merch store is now open, and we've got you covered. For 2021, we've partnered with Augusta Sportswear, the official uniform supplier of the Ace NFL, so you can get your American 7 fan gear now at ace7fl.com forward slash gear. Uh, definitely check them out. They got a, they got a lot of great stuff there. Um, so rep your team today. As the uh, Renegades now break the huddle, Corey Hammond, Mr. Cool Comic Collective, so far, so far he hasn't made any mistakes to cost his team to play, but so far he hasn't put in a, no points. Drops back. Hammond, got to make a play, comeback route, incomplete. And them DBs is on top of that. None of that, none of that. You know, you are talking about that bio hemp before, and uh, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the A7FL every week. You know, we're planning for the production. We're getting the teams together, this, that, and the other thing. It's, you know, it's, it's hard to stay focused on 30 different things. And, uh, you know, they say the CBD stuff's supposed to help with your focus and concentration. Right, right. You know, they sent us a little bit. It works, man. You had I can some? stay focused. Yeah. You, lock, you was locked in? Yeah, I could stay focused, you know, because with, with so much stuff going on, sometimes it's hard to just focus on one thing, like something that's mission critical that has to be done at a certain time, you know? This yeah. helps me to organize my thoughts and calm down a little bit. Because you was a little overwhelmed, if I don't mistake. Now you're a little, now you I'm feel a better I'm a little now? like high strung, you know? Yeah. No, but I mean, you feel better today? Well, you know, on these days, I like to be like uh, hyper, you know? So I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have any of it today. I got I to gotta be like awake, you know? Not that it puts you to sleep, but... <laughs> anyway, it's, 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 if, if, if you need to concentrate and you're some type of a creator or something, you know, video editor or whatever, it just helps that focus factor for me. And you heard it first here, folks, uh, from Ryan DePaul, as the Renegades have elected to uh, throw the ball off here and uh, we're going to see what the spot of the field is as uh, BIC now um, gets the ball back. Right there, that is Ashanti Worthy. He's the most, in my opinion, probably the most dangerous man on it so far and this he's the most dangerous man on, on the three on one absolutely he could go he's the, he's probably the only person i've seen i mean silky is dangerous but i've never seen silky stop go from zero and just stop i mean he's he's probably 15 years younger than silky absolutely oh no yeah well i i you played know? against i played against moon in his, in, when he was a young moon me too and yeah people oh yeah don't, so, people yeah. don't realize oh. what that was like oh man moon would just hike the boy they put him at quarterback and moon psh, you really want to see people diving in the turf and falling? Look at those old, uh, look at uh, look at those old, uh, those old uh, days with the uh, with the U here or Ashanti, record crew. Ashanti likes to score from this uh, part of the field. You know, I'm I'm, I'm feeling like a you know 95 yard touchdown coming up or what is it? Zero what catches for Ashanti Worthy. Zero catches. Uh, I mean, he just needs a, he beep, needs a beep, crack and the he's gone. The Jeep. He just needs a crack and he's gone. That's not Riddick on the bottom of our screen, by the way. That's not. No. Oh no, that's the other. So, yeah, so they're missing they. everybody. Yeah, they came out light, but Courage just checked into the game. Of course, Moses, folks. You know he's getting the ball. Everyone in their mama know he's getting the ball. Oh, play action, and the ball's up to KWAC. Why'd you do it, KWAC? KWAC can get up, working hard for that, and that looks looks like that'll be closer first down. Let's see if he gets a favorable spot there. So wow, right. that's the Riddick, that's the Riddick looking like the whole time. I'm thinking that's Riddick. I'm just getting some scores, the rest of the scores from around the league here. Obviously, we saw Patterson U 56 over mm -hmm. Spanktown six. That was a blowout. Hawks 18 to 13. I told you Liberty had the game winner in that one. Mm -hmm. Cobras 36, Bulldogs 20, and the Gators six, Vikings zero. I think that was a game I that mean, they said they had the they had some altercation, altercation they had to stop yeah. the game. I, you know, I don't I don't really know what happened. You know, we're not, we weren't in Baltimore today. I mean, we'll get the film later, but um. Six nothing. I mean, what did that no, do? Tough. Stop after the first drive? Yeah. Guys fought over a touchdown. A defensive war. And that's correction. I've been calling Matt Riddick. That's actually Case, uh, Case and Campbell there. Um, that I was talking about Matt Riddick. My fault, Riddick. Where are you at? And Shanti with the inside with the jet sweep here. Shanti got some speed. Missing one. Missing two. Out of bounds. Who is this middle linebacker? I'll get you his jersey number in a second. Guy's making plays all, all over the field. I mean, he's sideline to sideline. Is it five? No, I five? I can't tell. His jersey's crunched up. Is it five or yeah, three? Yeah, Samad Jenkins. Looks like number five. I mean, he's a he's a hell of a middle linebacker. Sideline to sideline. I mean, he's clogging the middle. He's running Ashanti down to the sideline. You know, he, he looks like – sorry, he's number five. Yeah, Jenkins. Samad Jenkins. Yeah. The Renegade's got a defense. You know, I don't want to say that um, 
<laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to compare Corey to uh, who's that quarterback for the Ravens uh, the year they won the Super Bowl. They had a crazy defense. Don't, quarterback uh, was like uh, sub uh, Don't even do it. Um, uh, I can't think of Jesus it right now. Christ. I know you're talking about when Ray Lewis played with him. Yeah, they had no offense, just defense. Dilfer. But, yeah, D Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer. All right, this is. I'm <laughs> don't speak blasphemy. Please don't speak Corey blasphemy. Corey would get mad if I call him Trent Dilfer. Of course he would. No, nah, he's not. Inside, have to Courage Mosey. Courage Mosey is checked in the game, folks. Courage Mosey can't get there. And none of that. The Renegades is on all of that. And that is another tackle by your man there, Samad Jenkins. You know, some people like contact. I was one of those players. I needed the con I needed people to ring my bell for me to get into a game. And Courage is that guy. You know, is like as he keeps getting hit, he keeps getting more energy. Yeah. You know, like you got to feed him right here. Feed him. Feed, like they have the perfect setup on offense to have that sweep and trap type action. Let Courage keep pounding the middle. Get the defense to start cheating in because they have to. But they need that leader. To set, but they need that leader to set that up. That's the only problem. I think this Coddington guy is going to figure it out. I, I mean, I think that's all that. I mean, I think that's all that's going to take. He just needs to figure out an offense that he's comfortable with. Zoom in on his eyes. He doesn't look like it though. When I'm looking <laughs> at his eyes, I don't know. BIC now breaks the huddle. Play action with the option over here to Ashanti. Oh, what a toss. Is that legal? Ashanti got some speed. Struggling out of here, and that is out of bounds. Was that a legal play? That was not by design. That was like Harmon just found that thing in his lap and said, oh, in the huddle, they said that needs to go to Ashanti. I better just pitch it to him again, you know? One of my running backs in high school was like notorious for pitching the ball back to offensive linemen. Yeah. And I had a, and our coach was like such a, you know, our coach was like, can I say hard ass on the air? I don't know. He was such a hard ass, you know, like there's no uh -huh. way you get away with stuff like that. You do things and they kill you in the film room. But for whatever reason, this like short chubby fullback that we had, he was like a happy go lucky Irish guy. And every time he got out in the open field, he pitched the ball back to a lineman. And it never, it never fumbled, you know? And it just reminds me of, uh, you know, one of those plays. <laughs> <laughs> totally legal. That's that same real football, folks. <laughs> And Harmon again, where's Harmon? So Harmon checking again at tight end here. And Courage Mosley, if you don't know who he is, you got to do your research. Drops back here. Balls up. Can he make a catch, Hammond? Oh, Harmon, incomplete. That was a good pass, too. What a pass. Incomplete. So the league has, did, the league has been taking everything, taking everyone, taking, um, blowing up on social media, um, blowing up on TV. Um, the league is taking everything to a storm. And... You ever ask yourself, you know, like one of you think, you know, one of the unique things about the A7FL, A7FL is that the fans have a chance to become shareholders. That's right. You could actually own a part of the sports league. Just imagine, you know, like when the NFL and the NBA, they first, they, they first started getting together and, you know, you could have find out if you could own them. Um, if you love football and you want to, and you want to, and you want to want to help us continue to grow and set up new divisions around the country, A7FL is doing what's called an equity crowdfunding campaign with Start Engine. Definitely check him out for more information at a7fl.com forward slash invest. Over here is Ashanti Hollywood. Hollywood, a lot of shaking and baking. Hollywood with a shake. He's having fun out here. This is just too much fun. You can hustle there, but that's still a touchdown. Touchdown. B I C. Hollywood. Hollywood. What a pass and what a catch. How are you going to shake three people? It was only a matter of time. Hollywood. Just a matter of time, wasn't it, huh? I mean, once he gets a crack, forget it. You know, like, Dondre Haynes was covering so much ground side to side. What, what was the linebacker's name again, number five? Same thing, covering so uh, much Jenkins, ground. Yep, but Shabbat you Jenkins. just seal somebody for a second. Ashanti sees that crack, and he's Once gone. Ashanti stops, Ashanti stops. That's why I was saying he's so dangerous. He goes, he could go from, like, 60 to zero. And once he stops, that's when you have to make a decision. Are you going to stop too? Are you going to try to tackle him? What are you going to do? And pew, got to go. Gots to go. So that is six for BIC here. So BIC put six on the board with uh, 47 seconds left in the first half. BIC with the lead six zip here. You know, guys were making the line on this game 25, you know. We're barely yeah. at, we're barely uh, at six <laughs> nothing here as the second quarter is winding down. I'm not surprised at all. And a shotgun set here. Can you make a catch, KWAC? KWAC, can you get there? No, no, no. That's none of play. that. That's a big play. That is a, hu that is a huge play. The huge tackle there by Ron Brown. 
Usually, KY gets there. Usually, you know, with KY's athleticism, he makes that play, gets that conversion. So, what a tackle. KY's not an easy man to bring down in the open. Not, I'm sorry. KWAC is not an easy man to bring down in the open field. Not at all. So, the fact that he brought him down in that one by himself, single handedly, was huge here. And here we go, folks. And who is this? Number nine. Got to make a play. Ron Brown. Can he uh, get there? Can he shake him off? That's a great no, open field what a tackle. tackle. Great. That's a great tackle there. BIC, Andre Jasper, my man Bullet, a longtime BIC vet here. So great tackle. Renegades break the huddle. Abe lined up at the top of the screen. The Haitian cessation at slot. Corey Hammond drops back. Looking for Abe with the comeback route. What is he doing? A little confusion. No. What's going on there? He ran into a wall, literally. 54 is a wall. 54? My man my man just came. He just worked out. My man just got home. I got to give him a new name. I just got home yesterday. Number 54. But, you know, you cracked me up in the uh, 2016 championship. You called that guy Planet Fitness. Who? I didn't call him Planet Fitness. No, no, no. You called one of the guys on BIC. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My man Planet Fitness. <laughs> hey, man, these guys look like this. Listen, man, if you, call, you, if you look like you just, came, you just came from the gym, you just did a set, and you come to play A7, like uh, the Savage, right? They look like they're back. Oh, wait till I see. Oh, wait till we see KJ in them. Are That's they gonna give the U a game? We're gonna see. Second and five. Hammond could be a stud. Hammond, a good ball. Petio, of course, and that is a oh, Petio still up. Oh, ref, the ref, the ref love calling them out of bounds plays. They I love mean, that out of bounds. That's a great pass. Another great catch. Another great catch by the Haitian sensation Eddie Petio. We talked about pregame about how he's going to be the X factor, the com the combination between him and well, it's a flag down too. What's the fl let's see what the call in the field is. I think it's probably going to be this might be a illegal tackle. Oh, roughing the passer. They're going to attack another. They're going to attack another fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Roughing the passer. I didn't see that. Oh wait, but let's take a look here. So Corey Hammond definitely got to make something. He got definitely got to make something happen here. This stops the clock, gives them an extra 15 yards. Huge, huge. 33 seconds left on the clock. Huge, huge, huge. I mean, this is a perfect spot right here. This, you know, I always say once you get closer to the end zone, it's a lot harder to score. You run out of you run out of real estate. But you know, you're about 35 yards out right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect spot. This is a perfect spot to take a couple shots right now. And if Corey knows he's got that protection, he's taking a shot. Let's see what the, the call and field is here. Got trips on the bottom of your screen. Now they're going to isolate Petio on the top. Petiot oh, there's a top mismatch. And Ken Stewart at the bottom. There's a mismatch. Petio with the stop and go. Balls up. Kenneth, can he get there? Oh, oh but pass interference. Is the ref going to call it? Wow. Everyone in their mama might have seen that one. Uh, look, that at ref, look at the ref. Zoom in the ref face. Can we zoom in the ref face? Look at his face. Let's see the ref face. Look at his face. Look at the ref face. Let's see. Look at the ref. <laughs> I know Listen, I don't care what you say. That was a pass interception. It was. It was. It was incidental, maybe. Incidental. It was. Like, incidental, Ryan. I mean, he didn't grab him or anything. You know, they were jockeying Doesn't matter. For illegal the ball. contact, at least. What? What do you? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying he definitely did, con but they were jockeying. Is for that the a ball. flag? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, you being previously the commissioner of the league is that a flag? I'm saying they're both making a play on the ball. It wasn't like he, you know, it wasn't intentional. It was incidental. I think it was incidental. So good. So so it's good. No call, ref. I think so. Yeah. I think so. You should be tested for drugs right now, sir. <laughs> like that. <laughs> You're a little too comfortable with that biohemp. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and the lights are finally coming on here at Asbury Park. Oh man. Compared to the first game I commentated, where it was a it was a it was a monsoon. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, the weather's wacky, man. We're right on the water. You know, Jersey Shore, New Jersey's you, very unpredictable weather. Twenty-four seconds left in the first half. Corey Hammond could be a hero. Looking for that deep pass. What a catch! Is that a catch? That is a catch. And that is a catch. You only gain like about three yards on the play. Better get though. back to the line of scrimmage here. Timeout, Renegades. And that's a timeout, Renegades here. It's kind of a weird play call. I mean. You run a four yard out. Seemed like that was like his safe. That was like his safe. I mean, know. I'm wondering if he was trying to dial up the hook and ladder. I don't know. That, that, I mean, that seemed like he was setting. A, Corey doesn't throw four yard outs. When do you ever see him throw four? You know what I mean? I think they yeah. were trying to. I think uh, I don't know. We're going to see the next play. Not a bad call down here in this type of situation. Hook and ladder. 
And folks, as uh, as Renegades now uh, talk about what's going on, to see if they can get to that end zone. Uh, no matter if you're on the field or off, staying safe is the number one priority. That's why we've partnered with Zoom Bang, brought to you by Marshawn Lynch's Beast Mode. Uh, Zoom Bang provides world-class protective gear for not only for athletes but also for military and medical professionals to ensure they do their jobs confident and they are protected. Zoom Bang utilizes unique uh, polymer technology to protect you no matter where you are. For more information, check them out at zoombang.com. Uh, again, if you're just tuning in, LJ Smith here alongside here with Ryan DePaul. This is A7FL Sunday Night Football. Corey Hammond, quick pass over here to the big boy, Megatron. Megatron got too much strength. He's too big for the game. Too strong for the game. Too big for the game. It has a touchdown, Megatron. You know, Renegade I, on top. I love that play, Colin. They lined them up at tight. He jumped right out into the slot. And look, Corey Hammond, so disrespectful on the sideline. Look, Corey Hammond on the sideline. Where is he? Where you is you he? catch it. With the fist? Oh, you missed it. Oh, uh, someone got it. Come on. Corey Hammond, that was a big pass. You know, I, that's a great play call. That was a great play call. Because, you know, it's, everyone, because they weren't even ready. They're all, they're all anticipating for the deep ball. So you give it to the biggest guy on the field, right? Dondre Hand, I call Megatron, and get out the way. You know, a skinny post is a great route in this league because, you know, your typical post, you got to go 7 to 10 yards and then make your cut to the post. By the time you do that, you know, three seconds are up. Quarterback's getting sacked. Right. But a skinny post, you're running to the post immediately. You're getting vertical immediately, and you're looking for the ball in a half a second, and you're just going to hit a window as soon as he sees it, and that's exactly what they did. Exactly what they did. That was a beautiful, beautiful play call. You heard it first. With the exception of SWG, that man, Ryan Paul has, are you, is it safe to say you have the most championships in his league history, right, with the exception of SWG? Got three. Safe to say, right? Yeah. yeah. So you heard it first here. So Corey Hammond, 6'6". Six, six. He could be a hero. Hammond got some time, balls up, and that is an no interception. No harm, no foul on that. But the play is dead. The play is dead, folks. But don't worry. That is still that still puts a touch in. Oh, and we got a, and there's a flag on the play. I guess they'll, they'll assess this on the throw off. No, why would they do it on a throw off? They're gonna have to get that back. They're gonna have to get that possession. They're gonna get that. Uh, they're gonna get. The, they're gonna. You think so? After, Absolutely. Is it a dead ball foul. Dead ball foul. Personal foul on a on a on a, on a quarterback. Oh, Absolutely. okay. Oh, yeah, so a, it's a rough in the passer. That's, that's a. You know what? They're trying to rough. That's the second time they get hit with a rough in the passer call. Look, Corey's jersey's hanging off. This yeah. is his old team he's playing against. They're trying to rough him up out there. You gotta think about it. If Corey Hammond is can't play, if Corey Hammond for some reason. Got hurt, you know, knock away, you know, when anything happened, Corey Hammond can't play. This is a different ball game, you know, but he's their leader. He's their anchor, you know, and uh, shout out to him and his family as well. He had a, he had a, uh, had a baby not too long ago, right? So congratulations again to him. He's got like five kids. All right, well, I, I mean, he got like 10 kids, but who's counting, right? So, you know, yeah. he just did all the, the I'm going to have to give him a shameless plug. He just did all the siding at my uh, townhouse, actually, Hammond Homes. Does it look good? It looks amazing. Oh, wow. And it was awesome to deal with a guy, though. You know, like, they came in, they, they did everything nice and quick, and it looks great. Hammond, is it Hammond Homes? I think it's Hammond Homes, yeah. Hey, guys, folks, check them out at Sayreville, New Jersey. Corey Hammond, play action, got some time, good ball. Can, oh, incomplete, none of that. None of that, my man, JJ. JJ says, I don't like to be called Nightcrawler. But I don't care, JJ. Nightcrawler's back. You know, it's funny, at the time when I was like, when I was still playing in the league and, uh, you know, we, we didn't have conversions when we first started. We only played by ones. Uh -huh. And then we kept ending games in ties. Right. Because if you yeah. go by ones, you're going to end in ties. So, hey, and why not? And sort of get dark too, right? Yeah, so, yeah. We had a lot of tie games. So why not add a conversion? Oh, that was a good idea. Yeah. But so at the time, I was playing quarterback. And I said, you know, when we have these conversions out there, you know, I don't, if I throw a pick, I want it to be a no harm, no foul. <laughs> You know? So that's so, why you did that. So that's oh, why. If anybody, you guys hear this? People ask all the time, how come you can't return? How come you can't return an interception on a conversion? Because you wanted to take a shot. Because I wanted to take a shot. <laughs> Corey, you guys just hear this? Two, Corey just took two shots, and they both got this. This is unbelievable, folks. No harm, no foul. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we get so as we're getting off here with the three on one throw off here with a shotty worthy here. Um, Hey folks, so we just also want to remind everyone that uh, every 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 A7 FL uh, after the field has one goal in mind, is that's the A7 FL championship for the twenty thousand dollar prize. Um, which is why we've partnered with Herb Jones to provide our championship rings and design the new A7 FL championship trophy. Um, if you want to be championship ready or celebrate the biggest moments of your life, head over to herfjones.com. That's H E R F F J O N E S dot com. And this is a shanty worthy my man Hollywood. The most dangerous man in the league on a three-on-one throw-off, but guess what? 
Megatron is on defense. So let's see what happens. Got some time. Megatron's there. None of that. None of that. Renegades is covering their 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 three hundred one coverage, and as I talk, and again, I hate to sound like a, a Tony Romo of the, uh, as far as with the league, but keys to the game that says three hundred one coverage. Renegades is doing that. It's a big part of the Dondre game. Dondre Haynes making plays, they're doing that. Hammond getting time, they're doing that. Right, everyone's stepping up and doing what they had to do. That's why we got a goodie, 6'6". Six, six, you know? And you know, the, the three-on-one's evolved. When we first introduced the three-on-one, guys were throwing their quarterback out there. Right, And yeah. then they realized, <laughs> hey, well, my quarterback can't make a tackle. You know, so you, right. you, you see these athletes that come out there, the guys that are throwing the ball off, like a guy like DeAndre Haynes. Oh, remember when he used to put the big guys? They used well, to put, like, at, Big like, Mo and all those, those guys? guys could throw. I mean, if it was a guy that could throw, you need a guy that could throw and tackle. You can't just have a guy out there like a kicker. In regular football, right. the kicker most likely is not going to have to make the tackle. Here with the three-on-one, the guy throwing the ball has to be able to throw, and he better be able to tackle. tackle. You know, it's a, and a lot, of the, a lot of quarterbacks actually are great tacklers. Mm -hmm. Look at Ace Boogie from the Gators. He's a great tackler. Yep. Look at Huff yeah. from the U. He's a great Always tackler. Always on special teams. You know? Score 6-6 six, six here. Uh, five minutes left. Five, excuse me, five seconds left in the first half. Conjure. Oh, and look at the pressure. And look at that pressure, that D-line. Renegades, no, no, no. You realize Haynes came on a delayed blitz from the outside linebacker position yes, about sir. four yards deep? Yeah. I mean, I can't think that was on purpose. You tell me these guys are dialing up delayed blitzes? That's next level. That is next level indeed. Especially if you know you can't, especially if you know your offensive line can't, can't get a hand, a hand on him. And that is the end of the first half, folks. So uh, score now with Trenton BIC. Uh, Trenton BIC with six, East Orange Renegades six. Um, we're gonna talk about first a few, a few things here in the first half. Uh, first thing I want to, we, we want to discuss is Ryan's that. What is your thoughts now for the first half as far as going to the second half? What does what is what does both teams got to do uh, to get this W? I mean, if I'm BIC and we're expected to beat the Renegades, you got to wake up. Right. You know, like, this is a wake-up call. We're in a football game right now. I mean, I'm looking over on the sideline right now. You know, Courage is really the emotional leader on this team. Uh -huh. You know, and, and he doesn't look so fired up right now. He came a little late. But they got to wake up. You know, look, they got an undefeated season brewing right now. The Renegades are hungry. They're 2-1. and one. They're definitely out here to play ball. Corey Hammond wants to beat his old team. And, uh, you know, BIC has really got to switch gears here in the second half. Or they're going to they're gonna get upset tonight, just like I predicted. So did you predict that it's gonna be the game was going to go like this, a, 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 a tight one? I mean, if I was – if I was, you told me the, earlier that you said Corey Hammond was going to put up 40. I said Corey Hammond was going to put up – yeah, you're right. I did right? say that. Yeah, that's right. But he, but, but you what's are, it, you're out you of know, national television. You know that, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> But hey, I, you know I don't have I don't have the stats handy, but I would say he's no. Worry, I have the stats right here, sir. No, worry, I have the stats right here, sir. It's available for you just in case. All right. He doesn't have no in there four hundred. That's what stat guy. Well, the stat guy just sent me a text. What does stat guy say? He doesn't have four, no in. And then after that, sir. I bet you he's got a buck seventy. Buck seventy. Yeah. He only got six points. I know what I'm saying, but they also drove down to the goal line twice and uh, didn't score. Uh, uh. A lot to build off in the second half. <laughs> a lot to build off in the second half. You know, he's over there. Look, Corey's not done. He's not happy to be in a. Uh, in a 6-6 in a six, six game with the best team in the league right now, or one of the best teams in the league. He let, wants to come out of here with a win. Let me tell you come something on. about that guy, Corey Hammond. He is, I, I'll tell you this, right? I mean, we, you know, we joke around with players, and you could just, that is a leader right there. That is a leader. You could just, we just randomly take the camera, and he's yelling at his guys, this is not, this game is not over. And you would think that they would be comfortable with the 6-6 six, six lead because they're the heavy underdog, right? Not but comfortable, but some teams will be happy to come close. They'll be happy, right, right. They'll you be know, happy just like, to be within it. He seems like he's not even happy. He seems like he's, he, 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 he's like, his eyes is like, listen, we should easily be up. And he's right. They actually should be up a touchdown or two, you know, based on the way they're playing. You know, like certain things coaches tell you growing up playing football always stick out in your head in football and in life. And one thing that always sticks out in my head all the time was play every play like it's going to make a difference in the game. And just think about that for a second. You ever, you ever read any of the Vince Lombardi quotes? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> no. I just read it recently for the first time. Well, it's Stuff funny. Uh, gospel, uh, so, man. Someone, like, someone, someone told me that there's, there's a bunch of quotes that's all through football. Right. Right? That on every level, right? And mm -hmm. I come to find out, once you do the research, right? it's him. It's his quote. Unbelievable. Yeah. The guy was a prophet. I yeah. mean, the stuff he'd say it applies to football, applies to life. You know, and, and, and he didn't say this, what I'm saying right now, but the simple phrase play every play like it's going to make a difference in the game. Applies to football, applies to your work, any team that you're on. You're playing with a bunch of guys with that mentality that everything they do makes a difference. That all adds up to victories.
And that, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the vibe that Corey Hammond's bringing over to the Renegades right now. Do they got the firepower to get to a championship this year? They definitely got the defense. Like I said, they definitely have the defense. Um, we got ourselves, we got, we, got a, we got a whole lot of football left, a huge half here. Uh, again, if you're just tuning in, folks, I'm LJ Smith alongside here, Ryan DePaul. You're watching A7FL Sunday Night Football uh, with Trenton BIC, uh, six, East Orange Renegade, six. And we again, we uh, we wouldn't, 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 we wouldn't be here without one of our sponsors. The A7FL is proudly sponsored by Biohem Plus. Unlike other pro football leagues, the A7FL's athletes have day jobs and have to spend a Sunday playing American Seven football. They need to recover quickly to be ready for Monday morning. Biohem Plus is specifically formulated to support your immune and central nervous system to help alleviate pain. Plus, when you go to BiohemPlus.com uh, and use promo code A7FL, you'll get your 20% off. 20% of your order and free shipping, and you also can win, um, enter to win a six month supply of CBD. Ryan says, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan DePaul proves that. He gives you that, that two thumbs up from Save Your Journey, my man, the go to guy. You know, Check yeah, him I'm out. reading the sign too. It says, you know, for you and your pets. Yeah. So, like, if you yeah, got Yeah, I know. Some, I saw that when I went to that website. I asked him, I said, what is, this talk, what is this guy talking about for me and my pets? What are you talking about? And he said, uh, you know, you got like an obnoxious dog or something that's always barking at the uh -huh. mailman, you know? You give, you give him some. Oh, little, really? You put a little bit of the CBD in his drink or something. I that's it, you know? Now he's like licking the mailman. And here we go in the 3 one throw off to start the second half, folks. And Petty Alt, the Haitian cessation. My man makes plays all day. Let's see if he can make a play. Here goes one. Wait, can he, get, can he skip away? No. Good tackle. And that is Bullet with another one. He's still getting his feet underneath him. You know, like I said, it's not it's not easy to come back off an injury and just come out with 100% confidence. I'm real happy to see him back out there. I wasn't sure he was going to be returning this year. But, again, he's 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 out there. He's making plays, a lot of big possession catches. He's getting some snaps under his belt, and that's that's important down the stretch right now because they're going to need him. They're definitely going to need him. The Fresh set of downs here for Corey. Now, so we're going to take a look at the second half. What is BIC going to do differently uh, in the second half, folks? For Corey Hammond and this renegade offense, they got to get KC in the what do you call him? KC in the sunshine. Yeah, man? K KC in the sunshine. They got to get him involved in the offense. Where's you he know? been at? For the, he has. He, he, play, he, been? he plays defensive end, and he's definitely you know he's definitely a nuisance on defensive end. He's hard to deal he's with. Very tall, very lanky. Yeah, he's fast. You get him involved. He understands the position, uh, but he's also a great possession receiver. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't really see. I mean. Ashanti could play quarterback, receiver, running back, and do a lot of different things, but they're not really utilizing any possession receivers out there. Renegades, and, renegades here with one running back set, two, uh, two, two receivers at the bottom of your screen here. Doesn't look like they declared a tight end. Uh, Got to declare. King, King says, why you do that? Why'd you run that play action? Because I smelt it. You Why'd gotta you do declare that? a tight end. KWAC with a huge sack. He says, I wasn't going for none of that play action stuff. I knew Corey Hammond wanted to go deep. And that is a huge loss there for the Renegades for the start of the second half here. If BIC expects to get in this game, KWAC needs to continue to do, make plays like that. Yeah, that was just too long developing. And you know what? Like, they're trying to run the jet trap. That's, that's a good play action for sure, but you got to set it up. They haven't run any of that package at all, so... You know, jet trap play action right now. It's just a, a, little, a little tough. Yeah. Renegades break the huddle over here. Corey Hammond. Shotgun set. Drops back. Looking for that quick pass over here. Slant. Look, good catch. Keep moving. Wow. Got one. Woo. Hey, can he get another one? And that is, that is close to the first down. Great catch. What a pass and what a catch. I mean, Corey just, you know, one step, two step drop, beautiful timing route, delivering a strike again. I mean, Cor he's yeah, doing exactly Pettio. what I expected he was going to do tonight. Pettio and Ken Stewart has been having a field day today so far uh, with them short routes. And that's all they are. So he's very, he's very similar to uh, the, with these short, with these short routes. Does it have when you and the, th and the greatest thing about uh, with Hammond, you don't have to be the fastest receiver, right? Right. You just have to have great route running and be able to catch that football. Got to be it. available. Yeah, you got to be available. Make yourself available. Exactly. I'm looking for you if you're looking for me. Exactly. Imagine if Hammond had like a. Uh, imagine if Hammond had like a uh, uh, like Matt Riddick or something. Jesus Christ. It'd be ball game. Deep passes all game. Back to live action here. And it looks like Stewart is in the back of the field. Ken Stewart. And the Haitian cessation, Petio in motion, drops back. 
Hammond going to the Haitians. Oh, I need my 25, sir. Incomplete drops, get 25 push-ups, young man. I like how Corey's using motion here. You know, he's using it to see if they're in zone, if they're in man. Yeah. He's using it to catch them off guard really quick. I mean, it worked on the touchdown in the end of the half with, with, uh, with Haynes. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's reading this defense. He's, he's doing things and starting to try to pick them apart. This is a big drive right here. And let me tell you something. When, 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 when Corey Hammond starts throwing motions like that in, he's getting comfortable. And when exactly. he gets comfortable, he gets very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. As they break the huddle, and that is... Uh, Fourth down. They're going for they're it right going here. They're going for it. Wow. Fourth and four. Looks like our yard marker on the field broke. I wonder if he knows it's fourth down. Well, he has to know. Trips down here to the... Oh, so, so something's happening on the right hand. Hammond, what did I tell you about the right hand to the big boy? Can he get a tackle? That's not a fumble. He was down. And what's the ref going to call? That's definitely enough for a first down. Listen, I knew, I knew, I, they went that trip. I knew, I knew something was coming to that right hand side. The question is, did he check in? Question is, did he check in? Did did uh, did a Hunter ch check in at tight end on that play? Doesn't even matter really, because it looks like they moved them chains. So that's going to be a first down, Renegades. You know, when Chris Hunter gets into the open field, running the ball. He's got a lot of victims, man. Yeah. He's laid a lot of people out. I mean, really, nobody's tackled him one on one without like. You know, getting without, without without being some without being some, uh, some casualties. Yeah, I mean, would you want to get in front of that? Absolutely not. I don't want to get in front of that. Hey, listen, but not for nothing. I was standing next to Dondre Haynes, and Dondre Haynes, you know, I mean, you know, Dondre Haynes said to me, he says, "Hey, man, you actually, you're actually a little much bigger than I thought." I said, "Hey, man, you know." We were, I forget what we were. I think we were calling it. Me and you were calling the game in Baltimore the one time, and the little kids were coming up to me like, "LJ played in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> what, what NFL team did LJ play for?" <laughs> BBK's the NFL team. Right. <laughs> Back to live action. Corey Hammond, Mr. Cool Common Collective in the shotgun set. Pump fake. Can't get there. Corey Hammond using them legs. No, no, no. That is the one thing the fans do not want to see Corey Hammond do, and that is run that football. That is a gain of zero yards. And whoever just tackled him on that play was is feeling it. You know, he just lowered the boom a little Corey bit. Corey Hammond is not a small guy. No, he's not. You know, and he moves slow, and usually and he moves slow, but he falls very heavy. So. You gotta watch out for that. It's funny, his jersey's all torn. He's got a little blood coming out of his mouth. You know, he was just up here calling the our our uh, third game of the uh -huh. day, like all like nice. And now look at him. He's <laughs> now like look a at him. Maniac out there. Hey man, it's, 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 the game's called you. They called your number. Ten uh, ten minutes and changes remaining in the third quarter. Score is six six. I'm L. J. Smith alongside you, Ryan DePaul. The Renegades out of East Orange, New Jersey, on offense here breaks the huddle with Corey Hammond. BIC Abraham is Albana. going with the with the lasso style coverage down here on the bottom. You see JJ covering that deep third. Yeah, I see that. Inside here trying some trick plays, but no, no, no. My man old school number 30. And he is in the building. He's the other piece of that uh of that collaborative uh Tango and Cash uh defensive line from the championship BIC days. Put him in Andrew Levine in. I mean they're not obviously they're not uh the, the same D-line they were back back then, but still very effective. This is the most run plays Corey Hammond's ever dialed up in a single game. I mean, it's it's perfect strategy. Yeah. You know, he's he's lulling these guys to sleep. He's keeping Ashanti off the field. I mean, how many touches does Ashanti have? Four. You're right. He's got the touchdown. He's been swallowed up on the three-on-ones by Haynes. They're doing a really good job doing that. And... I mean, they're totally controlling the clock right here. And let me tell you something. No one knows BIC's player personnel and their t the players and their personnel more than him. He knows their team more than and He knows their team more than the, B the BIC knows them. Hammond drops in that shotgun set. Hammond can use the leg. Of course, can oh, Curry got a little speed boost. He got a little speed. Who gave him some speed? Hey! Hey! My man, Corey Hammond, gave him that shoulder. Gave him that shoulder. You know, a play like that's going to get Corey pumped up. Like I said, some guys need contact. You got, you need to be, you need to have your bell rung. You need to feel that contact out there to, you know, be reminded some, somewhat that you're, you know. He ran that play. He could have, he could have did a nice little slide. He says, "No, sir, I'm gonna give no you a little save your shoulder." You know, nobody's Bow. sliding from Sarahville. Come on, man. <laughs> Looking for he said, the "Don't contact. slide from Sarahville." No. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta fin. You know, I tell guys all the time in this league, you gotta finish your run. If you're standing up and twisting around and twirling around, you're gonna get hurt like that. 
Well, let you me have tell you to something. be the one that initiates the contact and brings the brings the tackle to the ground. You cannot let people twist you around, gang yeah. tackle you. You got to finish your run just like that. Lower the shoulder. Renegades break the huddle here. What a what a play! Like I said, Corey Hammond's out here. Corey Hammond is doing what he's doing. What do you, you know? call this guy in the bottom of the screen? Cool. I was laughing in the oh, showcase. Which one? The guy in the bottom of the screen. Oh, 13. Jesus of Nazareth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Play action. Oh, okay. Andrew Levino is there. To the big boy, Megatron. Megatron's too strong. He's too strong for the game. He's too fast for the game. And that's another touchdown. Megatron. Renegades again. Wow. You too know, much. You Look know at what? him. He locked in, too. He locked in. He ain't even celebrating. Wow. This I, is business. I told everybody, this is good. Look, look at my arms. I got the chills. Is that real? <laughs> is that <laughs> real? Yeah, hey, you do. You're right. All right. This stuff is real to me, man. You know, I, I said this is going to be a game that everybody's going to want to see. Could potentially be the best game of the day. Renegades are up. If they upset BIC tonight, this is going to shake up the league. Listen, this is going to shake up the league. I, you, you guys got to listen to LJ. I said it in the pregame. The keys to the victory is Dondre Hayes shutting down Megatron. And don't forget, BIC, as we discussed, they lowered their, uh, they, you know, their, their, they, they, they lowered their level of play based on their opponent. Look at this. They're undefeated. And now they're playing against a, a renegade team that just put another six on top early. Going for one point here. Seven minutes of change in a, in a, in a third, renegades. My man Corey Hammond, Mr. Cool Carbon Collector, the Iceman, looking like a stud, drops back. One point conversion. Jesus and Nashville, can he make a catch? Incomplete. Nightcrawler says, no, sir, none of that. That was a great play by JJ. You know, he's always in my inbox. I don't give him enough love. Where's his pick six from last week on the highlights? JJ, if you're JJ watching. Be, do, wait, wait, JJ, be hit your DM ask you for ask you to post his pick sixes? Well, really? he, I actually posted it in public. You know, he says, where's, <laughs> where's my pick six from last week? But that hey, was a great play, man. you could blow up his DM like that, you're going to do that on national TV, you're going to tell him like that? That was a great play. <laughs> that was a great play. <laughs> great defense, like you said, by J.J., the Nightcrawler, soul toucher. J.J.'s been here for a long time, man. Yeah, another vet. It ain't J.J. fault. Wow, I mean, what a... Woo! You know, Haynes is playing both, wa both ways. He Haynes hasn't like, taken a play off. Yeah, he's out here on special teams again. I mean, think this guy wants to win? I'd of say, course, I'd exactly. So. <laughs> Would you say you think, uh, you he, think wants he wants to win? To win? <laughs> you think he came here just to come close? I, <laughs> wow. That's it. I mean, you know what? These are the type of guys you want to surround yourself with. Exactly. You know. And Corey Hammond knew. And, and Corey Hammond knew when he left BIC. Uh, and again, what makes this game huge, folks? Um, and if you just tune in again, I'm LJ Smith, long hair with Ryan DePaul. This is 87 NFL Sunday Night Football. The Renegades with the lead 12-6 over Trent BIC. And this is Dondre Haynes, who I call Megatron, who has not taken a playoff yet, to the most excited man. I shot the word of my man, Hollywood. Can Hollywood, can they make a play? Got a lot of chicken bake. Hollywood. Uh, Whoa, there's one on the turf. What? Can he get there? Oh, that's another. Hollywood. Touchdown. B-I-C. Wow. You couldn't do that again. You couldn't. No, no, you couldn't sing like that again. I know I can. That was like American Idol. Like you, you, think were so? you were just like in the moment, <laughs> and you just hit that note, and I guarantee you could never do that again, ever again. Touchdown! <laughs> Let me tell you something. I the only see. bad thing, Dondre was exhausted. You know he's exhausted. Oh, he, ran, he ran a gas on that one. And that is a shanty worthy. He is the most. I'll be honest. With you, I'll take a penalty. I'll, is there a way? Let me ask you a question. No, you, know, you can't. If you, you throw the, if, you, if you throw the ball out of bounds. If you throw the ball out of bounds, he gets it handed off, right? Then it's a run back. So he starts with the ball in his hand. He doesn't so have to wait for it. What if we refuse to hand the ball off to him? Like, no, what? you have to throw it, and you got to throw. Man. You have to throw it at least forty yards. Either way, he's getting the ball. Yeah, and, and and if you don't get it to him on the fly, he's getting it with it in his hand. He doesn't have to wait for it to come. And now it's going twelve twelve, and you know what BIC's doing? They're cold blooded. They're going for the two. And let's take a look. So Ashanti Worthy. This game has been essentially Asante Worthy versus Lloyd uh, versus the big boy. One, you know what I'm saying? Like essentially, yeah. You know, neck on neck. I mean, they're both scored both touchdowns. Yeah. You know, and then it's it's you know what what's going to happen on the throw off? Is uh, DeAndre going to make the play or is, is uh, uh, oh man, I, I've been here all day. My is DeAndre going to make the play or is um, Ashanti going to make the play? play? Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's see uh, Codrington, well, who's been looking, who's been looking like hot garbage for the most of the afternoon. Let's see if he's gonna make a he play. He hasn't been on the field. This is the first time seeing him back on the field since the middle of the first, the middle of the second quarter. I might have to change his name to Scary Stary. Drops back. Here comes the pressure. Incomplete. Wow. I mean, he's talk got, to me about that pass. Talk yeah. to me about the like, I mean, he's it? waiting for something to, you know, he's waiting for something to develop. He's waiting. He's waiting. But you know, you don't have enough real estate down here on the conversions. You, <laughs> the only thing you can do down here, first of all, you should always go for two. Mm -hmm. Give yourself some more space. You know, going going for it on one shot from the five yard line. It's like, are you gonna run it? Are right. you really gonna go to try to run it? Probably not. You're gonna try to pass it. So if you're gonna pass it anyway, you might give well yourself more yeah, space. Well, yeah. Give yourself more space. More space and more room. Yeah. yeah. So score remains now 12-12. We got ourselves a goodie, folks. Seven minutes and change remains in the third quarter. I called the same play every conversion. Yeah. Yep. And One what's your, receiver what's your each success side. Percentage? I don't know. What'd you say? Would you say it's eighty percent? Maybe forty percent. That's terrible. No, it was mostly my fault. That doesn't mean the play call wasn't right. You're the same man that changed the rules and said, listen, the three on, the, on, the, on, the, on the conversion, the pass is dead. That's yeah, right. If I throw a pick, you can't do You know, I'm all right. Listen, but Baltimore, we're going to have to do something. We're going to we're gonna have to change that rule because now that we know that we can't return the kicks, we return the picks only because Ryan says he wants to take a shot at the end zone every time. Yeah, I didn't want to be hurt by it. <laughs> now, one thing BIC, the, BIC has done, uh, has been very successful this, uh, this evening, is uh, not giving up any big plays on a three on one throw off here. Uh, when Renegades return. So let's see if they can keep that consistent. As they throw off the most exciting the most exciting part of the game. Uh oh. This oh. is trouble. He's gotta bring it out. He gotta bring it out too. Oh, can he get away? Hit that sideline. Hit uh -oh. it. Hit it. But that's a great so that's a great throw off. Great throw off. Put it back put him back there at the what the 20, 20 22 yard line? Decent start and field position here for Hammond. So, so one thing we can say about BIC special teams, they have not given up nothing. Hammond looks coverage. like, uh, like from the first Terminator movie. What was that guy's name? From what? What is it? In the first Terminator movie. You know, he's got like that beat up jacket. Oh, um, John, um, John, um, John, it wasn't John Connor. John Connor? Like, no, no, no. But it was like the guy that was sent to protect him, like through time. Oh, the other guy, um, um, uh, Re uh, Kyle Reese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what the Corey Adams looking like right. Kyle now. Reese, he was all rugged, yeah. right? Kyle, rugged. He had the shotgun in his uh, yeah, his, exactly. his jacket. So you tell me, I should change Kyle Reese's name to uh, to Kyle Reese? <laughs> Let me try it a few plays. Let me see if it comes out, <laughs> folks. I mean, he doesn't look like the Ice Man. Let know, me see. Hey, folks, I'm going to try this right now. Shotgun set, Renegades breaks a huddle. This is my man, Kyle Reese. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do with it, Kyle Reese? Got to make a play. Shotgun set. Slant Dangerous. over here. Whoa! Dangerous pass. Abdul Zahn got to come down with that one. Good D. You know what, Corey Hammond, that's, that's a mistake right there. He's looking that receiver down the whole way. Right as soon as he snapped the ball, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball right away. No good. He's lucky. He's, he's lucky right there. Abdul Zalim, Abdul Shabazz. You know, look, you're tied up right now. Uh huh. S stay with the same plan. Keep that clock moving. You don't think that, that play, that, that that slant was a part of the same plan they're running? I just think it was. I was just poor execution. Yeah. Renegades break the huddle. Scores ring 12-12. Again, just tuning in. Sunday night football, eight seven NFL Sunday night football. I'm L J Smith alongside here with Corey. Oh, excuse me, with Ryan Paul. And Corey Hammond, whose new name is Kyle Reese, folks. That's his. We just found out that's his government name, Kyle Reese, in the shotgun set. Drops back, pump fake, looking for that deep ball. Can he get there? Whoa! And that is my man Abdul's Island again. None of that. None of that. You know that was a great ball, but an even better defensive play. Good, yeah, absolutely right. Good defense that by. Was great defense by Abdul's Island there. He didn't fall for the double move at all. Abdul Shabazz out of Trent, New Jersey. Now, so now what happens is that you take you take some shots, and now look at you. Now, now the momentum swings. They need to convert this because now they have no choice but to you know they're not in four down territory right now, so they you have know, no I, choice but to throw it off. I'd be looking at a similar type play that they had in the touchdown earlier with uh, with Haynes, with Haynes, where he jumped out into the slot real quick and ran that skinny post. He's declaring himself tight end right here. Oh, here we go, I folks. mean, if he does that, he's really got nobody on him except for a safety that's seven yards off the ball. Well, let's take a look. Right at Paul. Kyle Reese drops back. Here's the Haynes. They look, he's looking for Haynes. Kyle, can you get there? Ball's up. Can he make a catch? What, what a, a catch. What a catch. What a pass. Bought himself time in the pocket. 
That's a big time play right there for the Renegades. Catch do it, another catch. And you know, he's spreading the ball out. He is. I mean, that's the sixth receiver he's hit tonight. And Corey Hammond, let me tell you something. The, 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 what makes Corey Hammond, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of everyone, a, a, there's plus and minuses when it comes to having a mobile quarterback. Okay, so fine. He's not the most mobile quarterback. But let me tell you something. He fights like, you know, like Brady, he fights to get that little extra time. And then he's airing that ball out. He's mobile enough. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's mobile enough. He's getting skinny in the pocket. He's keeping his eyes downfield. He's trusting the protection. Yeah. It's hard to guard any receiver for six or seven seconds downfield. Even three seconds. Yes, sir. This is my man Kyle Reese, the new name. Corey Hammond, no longer. Iceman, no more. This is Kyle Reese, for Kyle Reese, folk. Now, Haynes did not declare himself tight end on this. Oh, Kyle, Kyle Reese using his legs. Kyle Reese is running hard. Wow, good hit. Good hit, but it doesn't matter because Kyle Reese says, I'm here to win. What a hit. And I'm telling you, man, just like Courage, who loves those shots, that's just energizing Corey. It's just waking him up, waking him up. He's loving this right now. He's Look hearing the eyes. crowd. Yeah. He's feeling the he's feeling the impacts. He's locked in, folks. I've never seen him locked in this much. He is locked in. Would you say this is probably the biggest game of his, uh, as his, of his career right here? I would say it's the best game of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. I mean, this is definitely, you know, look, they come out of here with a W, no matter what. They come out of here with a W tonight or not. You uh -huh. need to take the Renegades seriously. Right. You know, Absolutely. it doesn't matter who they got. No one can say that Hammond is not giving his all on this one. He's playing. I've never seen him play as hard. This is like a championship caliber. Brett Favre, you know. It's a, You know what? It's a collective thing going on out there. You know, everybody that's on his team right now is playing that hard. Oh, everybody. Chris Green over here to Petio. The Haitian sensation. Haitian sensation got some speed. Haitian sensation still up. Haitian sensation still moving. And that looks very close to the first down. Let's see what the, let's see what the ref uh, gives him a favorable spot there. You get a group of guys that are going to sell out for each other every single play, and they know they're going to sell out on every single play, that's the chemistry. Yeah. That's the magic. That's the secret sauce. That's what's going on out of here right, right now with the Renegades. They might not be the most talented team, but every single guy out there is selling out. Play every play like it makes a difference in the game. That's what these guys are doing. And that is a, fir and that is a first down, folks. So definitely, if you want to play as hard as uh, the, the I was going to Corey Hammond, Oh, Kyle Reese, as I gave him a new nickname, uh, definitely check him out. Uh, definitely want to check out that buy with him plus ASF NFL is proud sponsor. Unlike other sport pro football leagues, the ASF NFL's athletes have day jobs like Corey Hammond spending Sunday playing American Seven football. They need to recover quickly, to be ready for Monday mornings. Buy him, check him out at buywithimplus.com. As Kyle Reese, good pass! What a pass! What a pass! What a pass! He put that on the money. Sheesh, my man Abe out here bowling. Abraham Obana. Why you do that? It's shaping up to be a classic, isn't it? And you know, you know who's missing from this game? Who? That would battle right back? CP3. That's these these are the type of games that he shines in. But you know, when he's challenged, yeah. challenged, challenged. You know, you need somebody that's gonna answer that bell. Yep. You know CP3 answers that bell. That's why when you told that's why when you told me earlier that this guy is Hold on, on wait, level. just to pause real quick. Corey just kissed that dude on the head and pushed him off the field. Yeah, but go ahead. Hey, you were yo. <laughs> it was kind of weird. He just kissed him on the head and pushed listen, him off the listen, field. Listen, let me tell you something. Corey right now is very emotional. This is a huge game, yeah, for, a huge right. game for him. I know. I mean, just think about it, right? At, at it's what his point, whole team. I mean, yeah, absolutely. his whole team. He played with BIC previously. Last time he had a winning record was with win, a winning record was with BIC. He took a chance to leave a well-known franchise, championship caliber franchise, to go play with a new franchise who has never had a winning season yet. To take him to win a season now. Yeah, they're like an expansion team. Yeah, an expansion East Orange team. Renegades. Exactly. Hammond, my man Kyle Reese, balls up. Incomplete. My man Willie Beeman says none of that. He was there. But the damage is done. Score remains 18-12. Eight, Eventually, BIC is going to have to put Ashanti Worthy at quarterback at one point or another to be able to keep, keep Haynes and these guys honest. Because right now... I don't know if my man. I don't know if my man uh, Country has ten yards passing. Can you say right now that he has ten yards passing? And if and we're going right now, three no, minutes I, left. No, I'm not third? sure he has more than two completions. Just think about. Just think about that. Ten yards passing. Yeah. And they only down six. Yeah. No, the Renegades' defense, no joke. That's what I'm saying. They remind me of the Ravens, but Corey's looking a little better than Trent Dilfer. 
<laughs> Stop disrespecting Corey Emmett like that. You know, he definitely is. <laughs> but, you know, Trent Dilfer, uh, Trent Dilfer is still high-level caliber football, you know? Oh, yeah. With Shannon Sharp and them boys. As we go here on the 301 throw-off, again, as I explained, the most exciting time of the game. The last time, the last time this happened, my man Hollywood took it back for six. Can he do it again? Back to back. Can he do it? My man Hollywood hit He's that sideline. He's gone. Hollywood. Oh, my man Hollywood again. Hey, hey, hey. Can he get away? Can you get away? Ah, oh, man, oh, man. But it doesn't matter. The damage is done. That's what he gets. You know what? He showed more than too much. He showboated too much. I don't know, man. I think it was more of a move. I think, I think he, I think by having by, that little stutter that, gave, step, gave I think he gave it, yeah, because yeah. that guy was closing in on him. Abe's wow. fast, you know, like that. Way, listen, I'm not throwing the ball. I don't care. I gotta find you a rule. To, I'm, listen, I'm gonna break man, down the unless rules. you're gonna make your own rules. You, he, no, no, you no I'm gonna find a rule. I'm gonna find out what if, what if, what if I throw it off and then I do a personal foul or something like, <laughs> like a 50 yard penalty or something. I grab him, I trip him or something like something. There oh yeah. To, well, I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna, you know, bring a bat. No, no, that, that, no, that, I'm just saying, like, there has to be a rule where I, hey, you know you what, just take it at the LJ, if you went out there right now, I don't even think you'd be able to trip him. You won't. Yeah, no, I'm saying. You're like, right. Yeah, I don't think you'd even be able to trip him. I mean, honestly, that was great coverage. Great coverage. That was great coverage. But he I mean, kicked, but as I explained, folks, he hit that, he goes from zero to 100 real quick. So now look at, now look what BIC is. Now, you know, it's funny, uh, Conjunction, Conjunction, excuse me, now, uh, Hollywood, Ashanti Worthy makes makes uh, Conjure's job easy right here. I like this. I like this setup. I, I like well. courage and Ashanti fake, in the back. Fake it to Ashanti, fake it to Ashanti, and just give it to Courage. Courage got that new cut. I see that taper coverage. Not easy to score down here. Not here we easy go. to score Inside down here. Inside here, Courage Mosey. None of that. None of that. And who do you think tackles him on that one? The same guy that made that great play for uh, old SWG player. Yes, Can't sir. Name. Megatron. No, no, no. Megatron's Haynes. This yeah. guy, 34. No, 44 made that tackle. It was 30, 34, 34. 34? Yeah. Oh, your boy, uh, your boy that played for SWG. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. As BIC is in the huddle here. Uh, hey, folks, again, if you wanna, want any official A7FL uh, gear for your favorite team, rep your favorite team, the official A7FL merch store is now open, and we've got you covered. For 2021, we're partnered with Augusta Sportswear, the official uniform supplier of the A7FL. Check them out, a7fl.com, uh, forward slash gear, as Covington and Shotgun set. Can Covington make a completion? Can he do it? Hip it and hopping. Keep it a ball. Oh, good blocking. But none of that, none of that. So Courage is hitting, they hitting down there. Let me tell you something, they hitting down there. Them boys is hitting down there. That's, so Courage that's down that there middle linebacker it. again, man. Yeah, Courage down there getting in the mix. I'm telling you, this, this, this Renegades team's a lot like the, Ra the Ravens, man. Don't they be got a stingy this is, defense. Ravens run a Super Bowl. You can't say that this Renegades team is... is, is and, and let me ask you this, when they won their first Super Bowl in week four, were you saying that they were going to win the they Super Bowl that year four, with Trent Dilfer? They got like four or five Hall of Famers on their defense. I mean, those guys became, they became. No, no, they knew they were Hall of Famer. We knew Ed Reed was going to be a Hall of Famer. We knew Ray Lewis was going to be a Hall of Famer. I mean, I think would you say Dondre had, Haynes? We knew Shannon Sharp was going to be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> when we start the Hall of Fame in the A7 NFL, you think he'd be a Hall of Famer? This, who? Haynes. Uh, if he put in a body of work of five years like he's been. Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah. the guy literally never comes off the field. And if he wasn't here tonight, this wouldn't even be a game. Third and goal, folks. Conjunction, he got to make a play soon or the fans are going to be calling his name. I see a lot of KYC holding there. A lot of holding. Can he get there? Balls up. And that's a pick. Wow. He cost wow. them. I told you guys, that is not what they needed. And that is interception. She's slow weeks. Great defense, my man Jonathan English. You know, I want to be bold right now. Go ahead, do it. I, I, I want to be play. bold right now. Just say it. And let what me you tell you, that's the ball game. That's the ball game today. That's the ball game. Seal the deal. That's it. They got to figure out how to. They got to figure they out they coverage. Got stopped at like the three they got to figure lines. out coverage. I mean, you drive all the way. You know, Ashanti gets that incredible run. Abe makes the incredible play. I mean, he got dragged for seven yards, mm -hmm. but he stopped them. He stopped them. They didn't score. Now they get a goal line stance. The quarterback goes out on a pick. <laughs> he's not coming back here out here with any confidence. He has a, I don't think he's completed a pass in this half. Codrington probably, he has a QB rating of negative 66. But again, 
like I told you, folks, this game is not over because BIC is going to put Worthy at quarterback. I don't it, think it matters. It will matter. I, listen, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop him. They just need to s slow him down. Well, let's take a look here. It's Corey Hammond breaks the huddle. He's got two receivers on the bottom here, well, and your uh, Jesus I of Nazareth is checking in. You know, my dad's a big fan of the A7FL. He watches it all the time. Uh -huh. And I guess, like, maybe he's forgetful or something, but he mentions all the time. He thinks it's the funniest thing that you call that kid Jesus and Nazareth. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> my nickname's on point, folks. He my nickname. So, he no, but he it. has the brace now. Before, remember, his hair was long. You know, he yeah. has long hair. He talks about it all the time. Yeah. He's like, LJ calls that kid Jesus and Nazareth. Yeah, my, my nicknames are on point. When I first called him Jesus Nazareth, remember he got the braids now. But before he he, he had his hair long and silky. <laughs> if you got if you watch one of those original um, Land Before Time, the original, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he looks like that guy. He looks like Jesus. Back to live action here, Corey well, Hammond. Corey's got to be careful here. A pick six is a terrible mistake right here. He's you know, back, back on his end zone too. That's huge. I don't like slants. You know why I don't like slants? Pops off the guy's shoulder. You know that thing's going ten feet up in the air for a pick. Got to be careful down here. I like that Jet call. Jet sweep. Oh, great call here. Oh, good block at that field. Wow. Another Wait, great block. Wait, good block. Another good block. Man. That's big. That is huge. That's a great play calling. Great call. Great play calling. Great blocking downfield. Great blocking by my man 50, my man Chubster. That's just that's a good football right there, folks. Good football indeed. You know, we have these production meetings all week, and we got live games and non-live games. And, you know, it's really hard to produce multiple games a day. And, uh, you know, the 630 has been really hard to, you know, get off live. I know we're going live to tape with this, but I said to these guys, I said, this might be the best game that we don't go live with. Yeah, that's You're what gonna, I was telling I mean, you. This could be the upset of the century right here. And it's, you know what, it's taking shape. You know, it's it has to be shape. the upset of the century. You got, you got full teams out here. This is, this is the, the, the fan base who came out to see this. It's a huge game. People, you know, a lot. Everybody picked BIC, of course. Of course. But people, you know, they knew it was going to be a ball. They're game. undefeated. They're being promoted all over the uh, social media. Oh, good play call. Oh, good hit though. What a hit! Uh -oh. What a hit! Nah, uh, look, 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 my man. Look, at my man. I tell you, my man just came through doing some dumbbells. My man just got home. You don't want no smoke with there. My man, just, nah, no, not him. No, no, no. BIC, go to BIC, my man, right here. Look at, look at his muscle. Yeah, he just got home. When they just let him out. Why is this guy pushing Corey for I it? told you, they just let him out. I just told you, he just got home. Come on, man. You don't want to mess with the guy. Just walk away. Look, just walk away. Look. He just got home, man. Fresh out. All right, man. Leave him alone. This, you, you, see those dump, you see those arms? You don't get that from Plant Fitness. You get that from Penitentiary. That's <laughs> <laughs> my man, Fresh Out, man. That's his nickname, Fresh Out? Yeah, Fresh Out, man. <laughs> Look, that's why you see him in the face. They don't mind going to mess with him. But again, you guys got to remember, it's $20,000 on the line. So at the end of the day. Well, hold on. It's, it's $20,000 in total prize. Each, each oh, division that's right. $20,000. All right. Okay. So, each so division break, winner gets $25,000. So break that down because a lot of this, this, there yeah, has so been we have, we have four divisions, right? Okay. Each division winner gets $2,500. Okay. Okay. Now, question. A national before championship this year, gets how much, $10,000. Before this year, how much did the teams get? Zero. Wow. So now we're talking about jumping already to 2500 in one year. Yeah, 20000 in prize money. Uh -huh. You know, and, and we definitely are going to try to increase that every year. You know, as we expand, as we get more teams involved. I mean, te I mean, Texas is begging to get into this. Literally. It's all day long we're getting emails and Instagram. I mean, I'm wondering if, like, you know, Texas will <laughs> change. upper management here is scared or something. Texas, when are we going to let Texas in? Texas is going to check because Texas, Texas would change the outlook of football. I mean, Dade it's County, the, it's you start getting some, play, some teams from Dade County, uh, Miami, Texas, Texas, and Florida would change the outlook of the A7. I mean, they're coming next year. Yes, yeah. that's the reality of it. They're coming next Ooh. year. Oh my man, Kyle Reese. Kyle, can you use some legs again with the pump fake? Who's going for the pump fake? Kyle Reese, Ooh. don't let it up. That's gonna hurt. And anytime that is you, a big play. Anytime you get tackled from behind, but Corey pops right up, man. He's like Terminator. Let me tell you something. He, folks, if he's not doing those, he, he has no choice but to use some of that bio him tonight. Because Corey Hammond's been getting hit all day. And he gets up and he bounces back. It's a good thing he runs his own business because he doesn't have to close for the next four days. <laughs> yeah. You know, without a doubt. But if he goes home tonight with this win, he's probably not even going to take a shower. He's going to yeah. just lay on his living room floor, open up a beer. And just laugh And off. just start texting me. When am I going to post this video? <laughs> Come on, I need to see the video. 
Hey, folks, and again, if you're just tuning in, this is A7FL Sunday Night Football. I'm LJ Smith alongside you with Ryan Paul. You are watching the Renegades out of East Orange, New Jersey, right here in the black. They have the black and white. And Trenton, BIC is from Trenton, New Jersey. And they are down six. And they are the heavy favorites. BIC is undefeated at this point going into week four. And Corey Hammond, whose name whose name has been changed to Kyle Reese, play action. Toss over here to the left. Good play call. What a play call. Wow. The big boy. Run him over. Oh. Threw him, to, threw him like a little piece of dirt on the floor, but it doesn't matter. The chains are moving. And KWAC put a shot on Corey on that. He made him pay for holding on to that ball for sure. Doesn't matter. Xavion Ray Lord, number 18. The, the, the damage is done. Because everyone in that mama thought he was going to get that ball, and he did that toss. And we didn't see this guy in the first half, right? <laughs> no. It's like he's like, the you know, in baseball, you got the closer. Uh-huh. This guy's like, this is the closer. Oh, now, wait a second now. Oh, it, this it, is big. It looks like we got a, it looks like there's a holding call on the field. It'd be interesting to see how the Renegades deal with a little adversity here. I mean, everything's pretty much gone their way. Not not penalty-wise, but, you know, play-wise. Momentum play-wise, yep. You know, to, to I mean, that could have that sealed the deal right there. Big well, run like that. You said sealed the deal back before. I mean that you know pick on the that goal pick line. on the goal line is huge. I know. That's a I mean, goal, what's that's the, a how's the feeling right now? Yeah, you know, a, I mean that a, run he had. I mean he put the team like you say he put the team on his back right exactly. there. Exactly. That, uh, that, that was a backbreaker. And Abe not giving up on that play. That was huge. Play every play like it makes a difference in the game. <laughs> 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 it's the truth. It's the truth. The Renegades got a whole squad of guys like that. And here we go. Renegades break the huddle here. Corey Hammond. And play call is going to be huge here with 13 minutes, with 13 minutes and a little bit more than 13 minutes in the fourth, in the ball game, actually. And that's a first and 19 for the holding call here. And Dondre Haynes checks in that tight end. Quick screen over here to my man, Jesus of Nazareth. Great block downfield, Jesus of Nazareth. He got a lot of strength. He got a lot of looseness. He's still moving up. The knocked off his door, do, but it doesn't matter. I keep telling you guys, he has something special. My man plays big on Sundays. This is my man, Jesus of Nazareth, folks. Sundays is his day. Big play. And that's literally the ninth guy that's touched the ball on offense here for the Renegades. It's tough I mean, to stop a team when you don't know, you, when you're mixing it up so much. I mean, Corey is, you know, forget about his skill set. You know, like, we, you know, I think it's, I think it's wonderful. Not, but his play calling tonight is the best I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, he's he's uh, this this is just this is just art right here. What's going on? I mean, you bust off a big play. It was a great play call. You get a running back in here. Hasn't even touched the ball all night. Comes in here and busts off a thirty-yard run. Gets uh -huh. called back. Now you bring in a receiver who hasn't touched the well, ball all night. All day. And he you makes bring it right back down the field again. Yep. It's like I mean they're just spreading it everywhere. Oh wait a second, but that was a terrible play call. But KWAC is all that. Oh, no, no, that was my man fresh out. Smelt that from the rip. You know, we know KWAC could take over a game on defense. I mean, he's a strip artist. He uh -huh. rips that ball out. We saw what he did in the 2016 championship against the Chiefs. He literally wrestled that game away from them. Literally came in three times and stripped the ball out yep. to take that. And, and one of them, he took him for a touchdown. He has been, uh, and again, as we discussed earlier, as far as key takeaways of the game, what BIC needs to do to win, what Renegades need to do to win, et cetera. Um, KWAC has not... The, the offensive line for the Renegades have not allowed KWAC to be able to make those plays. Yeah, so, they're doing a good job. Doing a great job with him. BIC is really playing aggressive right now. Four guys in the box. No safety. Oh. They're daring Corey to go deep with it. Here we go. Drops back. Hammond with a comeback route. Good defense. That's another great play, JJ. JJ, gotta, make another play. JJ, another you going to DM me about that replay? I got it for you. Great coverage there. JJ's a funny guy, man. How long has JJ been in the league? Uh, since 2008, I want to say. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time we played against them when they were ESG. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was playing fullback back then. Come up the middle, I see JJ. He's small. He's like 140 pounds, man. Popped Dude, you? He, I mean, no, he didn't, he didn't tackle me, but he came up and popped me. You know, but he bounced off. But, man, I had to go to a wedding that morning. I mean, like after the game, we played a morning game at a wedding. Dude, my shoulder was killing me. <laughs> I can't. I had to go back and look at the film and saying, "There's no way that like 140 pound guy did this to my shoulder." And then you know, my wife was all mad at the wedding. Told you not to play these games before the wedding. I was like, you know, 
But no, JJ comes up and lays the wood, man. And he's fast. Now look at this now. So this is huge now. So now um, BIC now gets the ball back. And <laughs> 10, minutes, 10 minutes left in the, in, the, in the ball game. And what are you doing? When are we going to put Ashanti at quarterback? Because I tell you right now, I tell you right now, Sterry, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I know I make jokes and I know I talk about Jalen Crooms, right? But let me tell you something. Jalen Crooms, my man, you're at a doghouse. Uh, Sterry Conjure is, 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 is he's taking your place, my man. Jalen Crooms, he's a good guy. I'm going to take you out of the doghouse because this right here, as a BIC fan, if you're a BIC fan, the BIC fans are saying right now, we need more. I mean, it just looks like they didn't game plan. You know, I, I haven't seen any creativity on offense. I haven't. It doesn't really look like there's any sort of, uh, you know, philosophy here with them on offense. Every play he's rolling out. Yeah. You know, there's no, like, just no quick hitches. Play, play action. Oh, double play action there. And he's going to use them legs. Out of bounds. So the one thing he has been successful at, and that was early in the game, he hasn't been so successful really going towards the second in the second half. But in the first half, when he had their first drive, he was very successful at using them late. So uh, Renegades looked like they they started to clamp down and shut that down. But he he was able to get loose there. And that linebacker still closing fast. Number yeah, five. he closed this. He, he he's a closer. I'll be honest with you. Is this a, is this the same roster? Um, is this the same team from the Sales tournament? I think a majority, yeah. Because I don't know if maybe the South Tournament was the first time they played together as a unit or whatever, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. I don't see. You got a young team any, that's all bought into a but system. But the thing is, they don't have a big. They don't have any big names, really. You know. And these but, guys are starting to. These guys are yeah. starting to emerge. This defense is solid. After a six-yard gain here, second and four. It's like here off the courage, Mosley. Courage got too much strength. You know he got too much strength. He got too too, too strong. Can he take him down though? Great tackle. And there goes your man, your, that corner again. But you know Courage Mosley, he's not getting down by the first man. The so thing like, is, you can't use Courage once in a while. You got to get him in the rhythm. Just, right. just like Corey. He's got to get hit. He's got to feel that contact. He looks like he's a little banged up on that play, actually. And that happens, too. If you, really, if you don't use players a lot, too, they have a high, they have a, a high probability of also getting dinged up. Yeah. Yeah, Courage don't look too comfortable right now. But what they got to tell you, if, there's anyone that, if anyone try to hit the quarterback from this from, from that right side, he ain't allowed, no matter if he hurt or not. Oh, yeah. I, I always say one day I'd like to make a highlight of Courage is blocks. Blocks, I mean, yeah. his, blo his blocks are incredible, man. Him and, him and Q Bell are the two probably best blocking skill position guys ever. Oh, Hollywood. Whoa, wow. How much speed does he have? Whoa, that's another shake. Hey, he's smiling, having fun. Will we do it again? Hollywood! Touchdown! B-I-C! Hey, wow. I really do this shit. He, yo, I, I really do I this shit. That. I really do Whoa. this shit. <laughs> Tell him! Really Tell him this whole shit! Man, oh man. He so does it is matter? fast! Is, is it safe to say it doesn't really matter, you know, what position you got B-I-C in? Because no matter what, you're going to have to throw the ball to this man. All you got to do is give it to that man and go. And he has to, he has to, you have to throw it to him. There's no way around it. You can't throw it out of bounds. If if you're not, you saw it, Huff <laughs> threw the ball and hit the hit the goalpost today on the fly. Did he? Yes, that's seventy plus yards. It's he hit the goalpost. So unless you have that, yeah, right, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're in, like Huff <sighs> might be the X factor to cancel out Ashanti because he can hit the goalpost. Yeah, absolutely right. And guess what? And, and and you have the defense to be able to not allow that. I don't know, man. Ashanti destroyed them in the showcase. He sure did. He scored you know five what? touchdowns on them. <laughs> you know what? He you know, like did. nobody, there is no answer for him except for if he could throw the ball and hit the goalpost. You know how irritating it is? He was smiling and, and celebrating at the 30. <laughs> and, and, he, and, he, and he created so much, de like he was Yeah, the separation, yeah. His change of directions is amazing. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like Folks, I when said. You start hit, when you start me, hit me, hit that high toe in the Hollywood, you know something is about to go down. He doesn't even have a full season under his belt, and he's probably already probably has one of the best highlight reels. I I feel a lob coming on the bottom screen. Hollywood lined up. I feel a lob. Oh my man, can he make a completion today? Wow, what a completion! And that is good. Completion is good, and they have the lead now, twenty to eighteen. I mean, was he open or was I mean, was like did he pop out of the ground? 
man. And, like, nobody was within 10 yards of that, man. Let me tell you something. Steri Cotterton could have the worst game in the world. But guess what? That completion might be the biggest completion of the game right there. Because you get a stop, and you said it. You See how momentum changes? Still a lot of time left. I mean, a Corey's. Lot, a whole lot. For, you got Corey. Oh, you know Corey Hammond. I mean, he's got to be gassed by now. You know, he's got to be gassed by now. His defense hasn't let him down all game. I'm not going to say they let him down there. I mean, Ashanti's really difficult to deal with. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, Corey's taken his licks. He's made some plays. Is he really going to come back out and do it again? I'd be shocked. I'm rooting for him, but that's not easy to do. Still a lot of time left in this game. A lot of time indeed. And, folks, if you, if you love what you're watching and you want to keep it going all week, uh, join A7FL Nation on social media and get in on the action. One of the highlights, we got crazy highlights from all the games around the league, plus a plus all the amazing jukes and big hits, and even some of the behind the back, behind the back passes we had from last week. The uh, touchdown you just seen from Hollywood, my man Ashanti Worthy just now, um, and, and so much more. Just check us out, like or follow the A7FL on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you can always find our latest news at A7FL.com. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm LJ Smith, along here with Ryan DePaul. BIC with the lead, 20, over, 20 to 18 over the Renegades out of East Orange, New Jersey. Eight minutes of change remaining in the ball game. And as we said, folks, the 301 is the most exciting, most exciting part of the game. Obviously, because this is where this is where magic happens. And look who's in back here, the fan favorite, my man Jesus of Nazareth. Let's see if he can make a play. What? There's one. Plays hard. Oh, don't oh. know. Ah. No, nah, he let him down soft. They're not going to. They that's, 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 that's a flag. That's a bad call. And I think that's a bad that's call. That's a bad call? I think so. You can't do that to Jesus. That's right. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, the rule is once you're off your feet, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's a tackle. The ref should have blow, blew the whistle immediately. And it's not like he slammed them. He but let him down. But his name is Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. That's it. Not All even right. a call. <laughs> hey, you know what? The Renegades could use it. <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> Got to give a call. Renegades could use it. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. He plays hard, though. I tell you that because he just he bounced up. He just bounced back from that tackle. So the score remains now twenty eighteen. Renegades back on offense. Hammond, my man Kyle Reese, his new nickname. Let's see if he can make a play. And Renegades have a uh, Renegades have a fan. Uh, have a nice turnout fan, fans here, and it got a little quiet since BIC has bounced back uh, from Ashanti, Ashanti's touchdown. So let's see if uh, it's the a big Renegades penalty. can get back here. It's big time plays right here for Corey. Pump here we fakes. go. Looking for that deep. Oh, oh, why'd you do it, k -Wack? Why'd you do that? Andrew Levine. Andrew Levine still up. And that is a huge play by B.I.C. Watch Andrew V go flex. I bet you he flexes. He go flex for us? Okay. Reminds me of the good old days of championship when he got that, when he got that, uh, that scoop. Yeah, when he got that scoop and he flex. Man. He still looks the same. Yeah. Double flex. Another person from New York City said, I pay that toll, folks. They just raided that toll him too. I think it's like eighteen dollars something to get to get from uh, that crazy. GW bridge. That's why I want to move to Florida, man. Yeah. You got the league starting out there. It's, you know, it's time to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, think about it. From New York to come all the way down here with Turnpike and everything, probably cost you fifty dollars maybe. And talk about a backbreaker for BI for for the Renegades. Now, this is huge here for BIC. Because not only do they have the two-point two lead, but if they get into this end zone right now, you have, BIC, to, you have to give it the courage, like every, every play right now. I, I, if, if, I'm, if I'm BIC right now, nah. nothing's working in the passing game, I'm challenging my offensive line. Renegades have not, are not Renegades defense, unless their morale then I'll, you know is what? Then I'll lose like that. I'll lose like that. Yeah, if I'm going to lose, if, if I'm going to lose on, if I'm going to lose on, uh, you know, my linemen not blocking and uh -huh. courage not getting loose, uh, then I'm, that's how I'm going to lose. I'm not going to lose on throwing a pick right here. Ashanti Worthy, my man Hollywood at the bottom of your screen. Help, give it back to him. Of course, my man Hollywood got too much speed out there. Can he get another one? Good spit move. And now what's happened is that they're starting to realize 
the DBs are scared to death of Ashanti Worthy. So now they run the quick screens and they will give them, and you know what, not for nothing, but whoever's making those play calls, regardless if it's, you know, if it's a, if it's Ashanti or maybe it's the quarterback here, but, you know, Contrigan, nonetheless, great play call. As long as they keep doing that, I don't see why they're not getting six right now. Last time, uh, last time this BIC uh, offense was in the red zone, Contrigan threw a pick in the in the end in the red zone. So let's see if we can make some adjustments here and keep the ball out of the Renegades' hands. And of course, it's an inside handoff. Everyone in Mama thought, and that is a touchdown. But wait, it's a flag. What's the flag on the call? Oh, he picks up the flag, and that's a touchdown. That's the first time I've seen the ref. He probably just threw it out there. He got nervous. And that is a touchdown. Wow. You told me that was a ball game, too. That's why no one ever listens to what Ryan got to say, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. But if they score in this conversion, I, I don't know, right? I, I don't know. It's getting tough. And here we go. And BIC, this is a huge conversion here for BIC. Because then essentially it takes them to a two, a, a, if they get this conversion, it takes them to a two-possession game. And real quick here, it doesn't matter whether you're on or off the field, staying safe is the number one priority. That's why we partner with ZoomBang, brought to you by Marshall Lynch's Beast Mode. ZoomBang provides world-class protective gear for not only athletes, but also military and medical professionals to ensure that they do their job confident and protected. ZoomBang utilizes unique uh, polymer technology to protect you no matter where you are. For more information, check them out at ZoomBang.com. Again, if you're just tuning in, I'm LJ Smith alongside here Ryan Paul. This is 87FL, excuse me, 87 fl Sunday Night Football live in Asbury, uh, Asbury State in New Jersey, in Asbury Park. And this is BIC who just who just stole the lead here um, with the on the back of Ashanti Worthy, my man Hollywood. They take they have the lead 26-18. And this conversion would in my opinion, this conversion would seal the deal. Um, but there's a whole lot of football left. Covington drops back. Ha balls up. Can he make a completion? Incomplete. Now he's got a happy feet. It's only his second game. We can't really ride him too hard, man. The kid, you know, the kid's got some tools. Who? Uh, what did you call him? COD? What's his nickname? Covington? Yeah. No. He's got some tools. My man, he got one completion, and that's on a. That's, that's he got one completion in the entire game. How many minutes is a quarter? Let me ask you a question. Cause this, I got a question about rules. How many minutes is per half? How many minutes per quarter? I mean, how many how many plays do you think he's got? Fair enough. How many minutes is per quarter? Fifteen. Fifteen minutes per quarter. Was a, he time he, four. That's 60 minutes of football. He got one completion. That's I mean, one so of, what are you saying? It's over for him? No, I'm saying that. <laughs> we're, I mean, are we going to be. Are, I'm, saying that he needs, I think, I'm saying that he needs to change his position to athlete on the roster. <laughs> I mean, CP's not here. D then you got to, I mean, <laughs> maybe you might need my man Bird on the hand of woman not too cold or something. Give him a call. <laughs> you know, Jamal, Jamal Harmon can play quarterback. I don't know if you remember when he was playing quarterback for Savage. Why does he play? I'm not sure, but I really like him at safety. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, you know, that, that type of safety, tall guy that can make a play on the ball, high football IQ, I mean, that's that's an essential piece of defense. I mean, this is crazy because the thing is that if, if Ashanti Worthy is not playing in this game, uh, Renegades, BLC might have got smacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent. One player dictates exactly. He's the best what's player going in the league, on. and it's like a it's like a Marvel comic book story because it's it's just odd that the only person that could negate him <laughs> is Huff because he could throw the ball seventy yards. And here comes a three one throw off here, folks. Uh, oh, balls up! Can't advance it. Can't advance it. You can't advance it. Nope. Is that a fumble though? It's a fumble. Possessions where he recovered. It's not a touchdown. Oh, man, oh, man. So, finally, Renegades are starting to make mistakes that they have not made in the first or yeah. the, early in the second half. And that is going to be, let's see what they call. That's two big mistakes. Two big turnovers. Wow, that's That ball a took a funny bounce. I mean, as soon as that ball was on the floor bouncing around like that, you knew it was trouble. This is hard. This is this is shattering for, BI, for, for, for the Renegades.
And now you can see, now you can finally see the the, the body language of the Renegades defense because this is like, again, this is this 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 is the first mistake they've made all you know all game. Still a lot of football left. Again, they get a stop here. They they're, they're still within one possession. You know they got to convert a two point conversion, obviously, and still score. But still, they've got they've they've stopped BIC previously here. So let's see if they can do it again. BIC comes back and plays Spanktown after the break. Could be another interesting game. BIC's got to realize they got to show up and take everybody seriously. You know, they're they're undefeated. Some regard them as the number one team, and anybody that plays them, it's going to be the Super Bowl for them. Covers in a shotgun set with Courage Mosey in the backfield. Free Courage is the hashtag on Twitter right now. Let him loose. I like this power set right here for BIC. Inside of Courage Mosey. Courage Mosey was strong. He got to his power. Courage still up. And that's very smart. And that's a great tackle. Isn't it? And that's another great tackle by 34 Peterson there. That's the SWG pedigree. Yep. Still alive and kicking. So it's a great tackle for Malik Brown because let me tell you something. You don't tackle Courage Mosey by his legs, he's not going down. I mean, most people just don't tackle Courage Mosey, period, on the goal yeah. line. I mean, when do you ever see him get denied like that? This would be a big stop here. Second and goal. Is Courage going to get it again? Collins on the shotgun set. Another inside of Courage. Another tackle. None of that, sir. Oh, well, no, none of that. And that, again, is another tackle with assisted there by, uh, by Malik Brown. Renegades again with the defense on the goal line. I mean, this is incredible. Because this this is the thing. What also what makes this Renegades job easier is that they know, they know they want Collins to pass that ball. They know he has uh he they know that he has a Kennedy fried chicken arm. His his his, <laughs> his arm is not is his arm is not his arm is that's what it is. You know these guys. You know these. Some of these guys got the fight pass, right? And they're gonna watch this. Of course, they're gonna watch the fight pass. Can eat fried chicken? You should. You're gonna have to delete your. Uh, you're gonna have to delete your Facebook account, probably. <laughs> Let him tag me. Probably. Man, you know Baltimore was. You know, you know Baltimore came at me in week one. Yeah. I don't care. LJ speaks to facts. Back in live action. Commented. Got to make a play. Play action. Whoa! Make a pass. Don't do a turnover. Don't do it. Over the rule. This is great defense, man. I mean, this is just great inspired football. This is great defense. Make, Relentless. Let me ask you a question. Relentless. Honest, it gives you that. It gives you like a little bit of fire that you're like, hey, man, maybe I should go play for the Renegades and give them that leadership they really need. No, they got Corey. The team. Like, I, I would say I need to go play for the Hawks. The Hawks <laughs> need me. The Renegades don't need me. The Hawks need me. I mean, I, I you know I just the, the, just I can just feel there's some crazy ending coming. There's just some crazy, crazy ending coming. It just really depends on what Corey's got left in the tank. Fourth and goal, folks. Uh, score remains 26-18. BIC with the lead. BIC in the sky blue at the goal line, lined up here. Um, after they got a after they got a huge uh, uh, a huge turnover here on the uh, three and one throw off. Now let's see if they can capitalize and, and get six. Ashanti Worthy, my man Hollywood, at the top of your screen. Coach Mosley lined up at the bottom. I'm just watching Haynes on this play, man. Steri Conjugin looking like look, looking like hot garbage so far. Let's see if he can make a play. Finally. Renegade's bringing four, man. That's dangerous down here. Shotgun set. Drops legit back. Legit bringing four. Look at Hollywood. Wow. Incomplete. Wow. He was looking for Ashanti, but my man k -Wack was wide open. Why was you wide open, k -Wack? Why was you wide open? They know they got him shell shock. I mean, you know... You can't, you, you're you're showing that you're bringing four. Yeah. You know, like they don't care. That was they showed super four risky. and they set four. That's super risky. Yeah, super risky. But it worked out. It bailed out because you know why? They don't have a quarterback that really could. Like think about it. I don't. I mean, they're smart because Renegades. He hasn't proved to me that he could throw a five yard pass. He hasn't. Yeah, tonight. He's so I'm setting six. I'm surprised they said seven. <laughs> And guess what, fans? A quick screen over there to Shanti Worthy does not count. Now he's lining up on defense, Shanti. Because he wants to get he he too wants it wants it badly. Four fifty three left in the ball game. My man Kyle Reese, Cold Common Collective, drops back. Balls up. Oh, he got some separation. 
incomplete. He had to step on a shot team, but the but that Asbury win caught that football. You think you think Corey came to the line of scrimmage and said, "There's a shot I'm going to go with him." I think like did that really just happen? I think I I, I, I yes. Maybe I, he's thinking like uh, if I, I make think Corey him, wants to explore. I want Corey. I, I think Corey wanted to want to show him how human he was. You know. Or maybe he's trying to <laughs> tire him out a little bit. Oh. <laughs> 95 yards, this is going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but you know what? Not for nothing, but he's the he's the real deal, right? Can you keep it up for for this long, man? I would be like this this, this would be the this would be the, one of the greatest wins I've ever witnessed. If he takes them 95 yards right now for the win right here. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But then they got to throw off to uh Ashanti again. What do you do? <laughs> You're absolutely right. You know, the run back rule was just made recently too. It used to be that uh, if you throw the ball out of bounds twice, you get the ball in the 50. Oh, really? Which wasn't really much punishment because think about it. Would you throw the ball to Ashanti or would you just throw it out of bounds twice and get the ball at the 50? Then I'd take it at the 50. Then you'd never get to see any Ashanti returns, right? But you changed that rule? You just had to. Yeah, you're right. You got to see you? the returns. You know, you got to cover. This would probably be the single head. This would be his greatest comeback of ever. This would be his greatest game. Play action to my man Jesus oh, Nazareth. And no. look at K-Wack. Why'd you do it, k -Wack? Why'd you do that? And that is a safety, folks. Finally, k no, has come to play. They're calling that a touchdown. A touchdown? Yeah. Old, wow. Old so k -Wack forces a fumble recovered it. in old school. Number 34, half of Tango and Cash, picks it up, recovers it, and gets him six. So now the score is 32-18, and the fans of the Renegades, man, the stadium is really quiet. And here is uh, BIC. Can he get a completion? Can he catch it? Incomplete. I'll tell you like this. So, How many completions does he have? He's probably had, he had maybe one or two completions to, to Worthy, right? And he probably had three completions the entire game. I've never team, had a team had three completions all game and have a lead, a big lead like this. This is huge. And again, that's 416 remaining in the ball game. And here we go. Don't fumble it this time, young man. Great tackle. Oh, what a hit. Great tackle. What a hit. And I know I was calling him uh <laughs> and I was and I was calling him the uh the Riddick, but that is uh actually Kason Campbell on the That's Ashanti on the tackle. And Ashanti yeah, like so Ashanti started looking over to his other looking over to the Renegade and said, Listen, man, if uh, Megatron wants to start making plays and playing on both sides of both sides of the field I'm gonna have to do the same thing to secure, to, to secure this bag. So, four minutes left. Still got they still got three timeouts. So Who who's your think? who's your one, two, three, and four opening round of the division right now? You know that's you know that's how the, how the yeah. division playoffs are gonna work out. It's gonna be the top four from New Jersey for the divisional round. All the all the divisions are like that. So I just like specifically talking about New Jersey right so now. So just if so if we, we just know the U's getting the number one seed. Right, I mean, even if they lost, to, even if they lost to Savage, they still have a better record. It would be. I'm sorry, BIC could possibly be undefeated by them, but let's just say, are we agreeing that you getting the one seed? Do you would be the yes? Do you? Um, it would be the you. It would be BIC. How many more games we got left? Two. We uh, this is week four. So uh -huh. after week five, yeah, that's the divisional round. Week six is the one more week to the divisional round. Okay, so, so I see BIC. Do you, um, Savage and Renegades? I think that's the four. What do you think? Right? Yeah. I don't see a hawk. I don't. I don't. I don't see anything else. It's a great catch, great pass here. Hammond still trying to see if he could, uh, if he keep them chains moving, staying locked in. And now, if we're talking about with the Baltimore, right, four teams for the division, right? Baltimore, they got five teams, but it'll be the same thing. Their top four will go into the right. So we're know. talking about Gators. But then what happens is you still have the bottom seeds are still alive for the national round. So the 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 six and seven will actually have to go on the road to play a wild card round. See, so the divisional round is not an elimination round. It's it's very hard to it's going to be very hard for a team to go into Baltimore in a, as a wild card and get a win. Good defense there. It's going to be very hard for a wild card six and seven team uh, seed. To go into Baltimore and beat anyone. I don't see it. They're gonna have to play a top seed too. I don't see it. You know? You may see it. I nah, don't see I don't it. I don't know. I don't think so. Dude, that game it seems like it's just like a you might that that's like a bye week. <laughs> I mean the Hawks dodged a bullet today. 
the Hawks dodged the bullet today. Yeah, but the Hawks are playing against the Vipers, who they're who decent. came up here, who came up here zero and two. They're decent. Again, yes, they're com- well, they're competitive, absolutely. But Look at the teams: they- Baltimore stacked, Vikings, Gators, Cobras. You know, they're stacked. But the Bulldogs, you know, we're gonna see the Bulldogs play the Animals uh, after the break. What do you think about that game? <laughs> I think the Bulldog. I think the the the, the, the circle bull- back to that. The the Bulldogs is going to shock a lot of play a lot of teams. Plus, they just came off of that fifty burger. Uh, the, oh, the big boy Megatron checks back into the game. And that's his. And that's the first time he touched. The, and that's the first time he touched the football since he got that touchdown. Still going, man. And that is two minutes. That is that the two minute warning, folks. Yeah, the scoreboard doesn't really tell the story. Two big plays really yeah. upended this uh, upset that was in the making. You know, the touchdown, BIC got off the fumble. The other two, two, two late turnovers is a killer. Yeah, no, that was huge. You're absolutely right about that. The score does not dictate the ball game, absolutely. So it looks like this is a third and ten. Hammond, my man Kyle Reese drops back. Balls up. What a catch. Wow, what a catch. Megatron. How many times did he do it? Megatron. Touchdown. Renegades. How there's, many times is he like uh, There's no quitting that guy. I mean what There's no quitting that guy. I mean, would you say I mean he's he's matching Ashanti. You know, blow for blow. They I, just they just walk past each other and Megatron's like a whole foot and a half taller than Ashanti. I don't like, think people realize how tall he is. The thing is that he's catching it. I, oh, that ball's up there. It's his. It's Forget up there. It. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. It's not like it's a good pass. He's going up there and grabbing it and then taking it for six. These guys left everything on the field tonight, man. Absolutely. They're selling out. What a ball game, folks. What a ball game indeed. Look at him. That's perfect. That is right perfect. See, 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 you see how he's energy? You're going to do exactly. your little strip over folks? there? You see how he's tired, folks? You see how he's tired? He doesn't have that energy. He needs a little bit of energy, right? Don't forget, folks. Biohemp. <laughs> like other pro football <laughs> football leagues that the ASM have athletes, like my man Megatron right here has a day job. So spending Sunday afternoon or Sunday evenings with us playing football, they're gonna he's gonna need to recover quickly for tomorrow morning. So make definitely go check Biohemp out. Uh because Megatron, like I says, eventually he just he's, he's gonna run out of gas. So you're gonna have to get that biohemp, sir. But again, he's been balling. Him and Ashanti, it's been a, it's been a, it's, it's been a goodie. Him and Ashanti going back and forth. Yeah, I, it's always great when you see two. You know, I mean, everybody out here is playing a great game, but these guys are playing at another level. You know, can he make a catch? That's interference. That is interference. But the refs gonna call it? No. JJ's too old to get past interference calls on him, I guess. <laughs> now, Renegades still got what? Renegades have what? Two timeouts left. Minute forty nine left. They got the scoreboard right in front of you, man. <laughs> What do you see? Two timeouts left. Minute for oh, another. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I can't see it from where I'm sitting. So they got two point. They got two timeouts left. Excuse me, two timeouts left. See the res- you see the respect over here. You love to see this. You know these guys are out to kill each other all game, but it's it's a it's a certain love for these guys out here. Now what do you do in this situation, right? So you have the you 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 probably. I don't think anyone that's still a, a, a still associated with the league has more experience and knowledge than you. What do you do right now? This is a you know this has been a discussion that's come up a lot. This is a weird thing. Like we don't you know the, we we don't kick, but we don't have onside kicks. Like look at this. Look look how disrespectful Hollywood is. Look oh, at what that. do you mean? Like what do I do about him laying on the field? No, or, no, no, or what no, do you no, do no, when you're no, down no, multiple do you, scores no, no, and you no, can't no, do an onside no, kick? No, no, no. What do you do? He's laying on the field because he's like, listen, there's nothing you can do. You have to give me the football. Right, it's in, you know it's insane. What do you do? You I'm, can't even keep it away from him. I mean, you gotta squib it. You can't you can't give him time with the ball. You that's, can't, that's if you the squib thing. it, he's gonna get the football. You gotta you got you gotta squib it. You can't if you give him ball in hand, that's death. He, look <laughs> at him he's laying down. He's having fun. He knows he knows something's about to happen. Something magical is about to happen. I mean, I just want to keep the camera on him, but we gotta <laughs> see these guys throwing it off. I mean, is he gonna get up? Let's go see. Let's Hold see. on. <laughs> And it goes right to him. My man, Hollywood. Can he make a play still? Shit, whoo! Got one. Can he get another one? Can he get away? Hollywood. Hey! Of course. Woo! Hey! My man, Hollywood. Can he hit it again? Can he hit it again? Hollywood. 
touchdown. B I C single handedly, he might be the he might be top five one of the greatest players I've ever seen in this league. I've never seen someone just single handedly do what he's doing. He'll go to the parking lot. He's out of here. He's going for the day. He said, "That's it, man. I'm grabbing my stuff and I'm going home. I got nothing else to prove." He said, "You know what? I'm taking that flight to Hollywood." Hollywood. I mean, teams are gonna have to go and say, "What do we, you know? What are we supposed to do about this?" That is, uh, it's an automatic. At this point, it's an automatic. At this point, it's an automatic. But what do you do? That's what I was asking you. He like, scores. I mean, you got to. You're literally gonna like. Listen, if you're the coach of this team, what do you do? You're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna bring your. You're gonna bring your guys to practice on Sunday. You're gonna do three <laughs> on ones for like hours. Hours for like hours. We knew that was gonna be. Oh my. You got to get like a greyhound and put like a chunk of meat in the side of the end zone over there. He's fighting and hard. Like, he's fighting the guys grabbing him. He's fighting hard off it because a touchdown is coming. And he's he, back I mean, on the field he ran now. out of his shirt. He goes back on the field here. He ran out of his shirt. <laughs> oh man! I mean, what could he have left right now? What could he have left? Man, oh man! I'm sorry. Listen, and we never seen anything like this. I'm not going to say. Me, listen, we've been here a long time. We've been here over a decade, pa- fifteen years. Silky Moon has officially passed the torch over to that young man. He is. He but is did Moon the do new. This? Most, he is the new. Hold most, on, did Moon do this stuff? I see Moon do. I no. Uh, I mean, listen, listen. Moon, granted, though, the one thing is Moon didn't have the opportunity for the returns. The, the right. three on one is something new, you know. So that's that's a. If Moon had three on ones and three on ones, it, Moon was special in his own time. You're absolutely right. He's still special. He's so what he did today. Still special, but I don't think I've. I, this might. He is the most dangerous man in the league. All time three on one, all time. Talk about just for the three on one. All and time. you know what? If you asked that, if you asked the question last year, who's the most dangerous man in the league? Everybody would say Riddick. And guess what? He's on this team too. He's on oh, this wow, team, Oh, wow, it's completion. And, and go figure, completion to Jalen Krubs over here. So good pass and a good catch. You know, we, you remember when we did the – listen, I did pick the Renegades tonight. It was, it was fun. But you remember when we did the first uh, interview with Fight and we were talking about the league? Right. Who did I talk about? <laughs> what did I tell you? I said, BIC's got the two best players in the league, Ashanti Worthy and Matt Riddick. You and did. one of them's not even here tonight. One of them's not even here tonight. And they got CP3, who – I mean, you're always in the game with a guy right. with that type of mentality. Now, now the one thing we're going to see is we're going to see if he can hit. Here we go, my man, fresh out. Can he make a tackle? No, of course not. Of course not, but it doesn't matter. Jamal Harmon's a ball player, man. Yeah. He's a ball player. He's a ball player on both sides of the ball. They don't use him on offense, but I like that he's locking down the defensive things, you know? I mean, they call his number, you know? He, you know, they call his number, whatever they need to use him as. And Renegades, you know, it's it's pretty much, it's you know, never like to say, but it's impossible at this point. We don't have onside kicks. You know, what do you do here? <laughs> Run out the clock, get everybody home safe. I mean... No. No? You Corey Hammond? You, I, 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 th- I know you're right. I mean, you he's going to come out here and start, he's gonna start slinging it right now. I know. He's, <laughs> now it's all about some stats. You know you add that thing on pad of stats because you, know you know what he wants to do. Hey, man, I'm still number one in the league with passing. I don't get what y'all say. <laughs> nah, his team wouldn't stand for that. Balls up. Wide Hammond, open. Wow. Wide open. Now, is that pass interference? I thought you still got to turn your head around. No, as long as you, you know, you no face guard, and they got, we got rid of all that stuff. Yeah. As long as you don't make contact with the receiver before the ball gets there, it's you're good. You're good. Yep. It's all about position. I never, I never liked the face guard and rule anyway. What? I can't, I can't play defense and stop you from seeing the ball. I'm not touching you. Run faster. Get open. <laughs> create separation. Face guard. And that was, that was a, that was just not, that was a dumb rule. Man, so just so like I said, second we, and ten. We we expect we expect the big plays. We expect the big plays to happen here, but I did not think that this game would be a, a, a goodie like this one right here. And you know, and they got my man Megatron at slot, so you know something's about to happen. Hammond got a little bit of time there, and that is an incomplete pass. Third down. So third and long, folks. Kind of sad we got a week off, you know? You got a what? I'm kind of sad we got a week off next week. But, hey, it's Mother's Day. You know, look, these guys got families. Everyone's got stuff to do next week, you know? So it's good. It's like the halfway point break like before we get into the divisions. Yeah. yeah. 
give you give CP3 another week to re recover. Yeah, you know? that'll be huge for BIC. Hey, yeah. you know, listen, Spanktown's going to test them too. They can't, you know, they're going to have to come out and play. Yeah, Spanktown's, Spanktown's going to get cracked. I don't know what <laughs> Is that one of our featured games? I'm not even sure. I think so. Oh man, Megatron again! Megatron again! This man, listen, those guys are going to attack him. Don't even waste your time. Okay, who's that? KWAC? You know KWAC's so making all them tackles. And that is a timeout, folks. Listen, I mean, usually you don't give, usually we don't give player the games uh, to the losing team. But let me tell you something, DeAndre Haynes. Yeah, <laughs> incredible. Incredible. You Both know? sides of the ball doesn't come off the field. I mean, he hasn't taken a playoff exactly. I mean, not only has he not taken a playoff, but he's also on the three on one, which is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's on that as well. So I feel like you don't see these type types of effort at like the highest levels of football, like don't. NFL. You know, like those guys are all getting paid big money. They're out there enjoying themselves. It just don't feel like they have that hunger factor, you know? I exactly. mean, these guys are out there. They're down. Under two minutes left. I mean, it's pretty unlikely they're going to come back. And still. Well, of course, you got to remember, too, this is the, the A7 is also the only league that keeps that old school mentality, that backyard home, that football. Yes, yeah, bragging so, rights. So, he's, so the grassroots. As my man Hammond, that looks like a dot. Can he complete it? Incomplete. A lot of contact, but no, no flag. My man Abdul Zalin. He's Abdul Zalin's having a good game tonight. You know, he's been tested multiple times, having a good game tonight. Well, I mean, with the exception of when uh, Megatron stiff stiff armed him to the floor, which we'll, we will see that on Instagram.com. Uh, replay probably over 400 times. Yeah, the guy, our, the guys on Instagram are ruthless, man. Yeah, they're cold blooded. <laughs> the, bo the Bobby Newman clip with the uh, with the with the uh, robot voice. <laughs> we put butts in seats. <laughs> You know, he was he was really hating on me for that. All in fun, though, of course. All in fun. A minute 19 remaining in the ball game. Uh, at this point, Renegade just, just try to see if they could do something, try to see if they could get on the board. I mean, if they lucky. score, it's like they're going to throw it to Ashanti again. It's like nothing you can do. You can't win. Yeah, it's a lose-lose. You're right about that. Hammond, come back route, cross route over here to the right, to the left. And out of bounds. Think Corey hit 400 yards tonight? I mean, if he what he's doing right now, of course. <laughs> you know that's what he's doing. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, they're, they're, the only two losses came to, what, two undefeated teams, right? They only have one loss. No. They yeah. have two losses after this. Oh, after this, yeah. Yeah, after yeah. This, they have two losses. Yeah. Which came to the only, the only two undefeated teams in New Jersey. So it'd be, I mean, respectfully, they'll have. So wait, let's go through this final, this, this, uh, this division bracket right now. So we got the UBIC definitely one and two. Okay. And the Renegades are probably gonna get that three yeah, spot, right? Renegades gonna get that three. Savage, and, uh, you think's gonna get the four? I don't know. It depends on what the quarterback play. Like I said, I mean, I, I don't know. You know, if CJ, you know, I don't know if CJ gonna they got a CJ there. Well, I'm just saying. Right now they're two and two, right? They got the U next week. Let's say they fall to three and two. Do they get two and three? They, you mean two and three? Are they right. gonna get the four spot, or can someone snub them? Well, what is Spanktown is right what? Spanktown is what's Spanktown's record? Yeah, but Spanktown got to play who? BIC next week. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, the B and, and, So you think Savage gets the four? I spot. think Savage gets it because so they've, they've already that. played. They've already played the two top teams already. So we're gonna have to decide uh, who's number one by <laughs> a point deficit by net points. Well, we with already BIC know who's gonna be number so one. The U, gonna yeah, be the U is gonna get number That's one. The U, the so U, Savage is gonna have to play the U back to back. That's cold blooded. That is an incomplete pass here. That's tough, man. Yeah. I mean, even if I'm the U, I'm not really so happy about that. I got to play Savage twice in a row. I mean, look, Savage is struggling this year, but they're still tough. You know, like they're still gonna. You know, they're gonna bring it. For the those thing games. with Savage is like you never know who's gonna show up though with these guys. They're all you gonna know? be there. They're all gonna be there. Oh, for that game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for that game. And let's. So it looks like a little bit more than a minute left in the ball game here, folks. BIC with the with the comfortable lead here, forty to twenty four over the Renegades, and at this point right now, it looks like Corey Hammond is just trying to see if he can keep himself in the top statistically. <laughs> BIC just got to take a knee and get out of here healthy. Most teams don't do that. Some, you know, no. some guy like me says take a knee, but you know what? You came out here to play football. Yeah, quarters, you're right. You came, you, know? you came out here to play football. You came out here to play. You said 15 minutes or what? 36. You came out here to play 60 minutes of football. So that's what you want. You expect 60 minutes of football.
But I just, you know, like I said, this th- th- that, that these turnovers that they had, you know, uh, that the Renegades had, that's just, you know, that 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 was backbreaking for the uh, back two plays change the game. You know, two plays change the game. Now, what is BIC going to do right here? No, nah, come on, you're not going to do it. Come on, BIC. Thank you. Well, this yeah, you're right. You take the knee here. And Covington, who haven't who hasn't completed the pass yet all game, well, two passes. And that's 59 seconds left with the clock stopping out of bounds. And look at Carl here. If we can get a shot of Carl, the GM of BIC, straight down here. If we get a shot here of Carl, the GM of BIC, his, his walk is different today. He got a little swagger. See that little belly right there? He been losing weight. That's my man. Looking good. But his swagger is different now because he's winning. That's what happens. You come to a ball game. I was talking to him in pregame earlier. I said, hey, uh, hey, Carl, what do you think about the – you think you'll lose this game? He said, man, I'm locked in today, man. We got to get this W. So there you go. The GM of the, the BIC had a Trenton. Carl's got his hand taped up. Uh, I wonder what happened. Well, he had to – you know, it was Sunday. You know, he, maybe he's doing something with the camera over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Back to live action. BIC, I don't know what they're doing. You should just kneel that football. And at this point, I don't know. The refs got to just, they, they got to call that. They just got to call that a ball game because nothing happens. You know, nothing good happens at this point. 59 seconds left, you know. Renegades is, is upset. They're playing, you know. They're, they're, all, they, all they want is to be able to get a, a clean hit on someone. Empty backfield, no less. k Wax looks like k Wax not even really down, so it looks like k Wax about to go for a pass. Of course, k Wax going up for the pass. Incomplete. This has probably been, this game, this game has probably been one of those lopsided games where if you look at the game statistically, right, as far as the, uh, as far as the passing offensively, you would think that just by looking at the stats offensively that BIC got, they, the BIC would have been uh, down 40 to 24. Did I get no? Did I get nothing from the run? Did I get anything on the on the ground or in the air from the quarterback or the running back? But but yet they still have to leave 24 because Ashanti Worthy, or as we call Hollywood, single-handedly just took this just t- took the Renegades by storm. And there's nothing you can do about that young man because he is too fast. This fourth down here or third down? Third. Oh. It looks it's 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 a uh, third down. Third and about three here. With 54 seconds left in the ball game. Ball's up, and that is another incompletion. Yeah, I don't get the mentality here. Take a knee. Because he doesn't have the experience. What happens is he doesn't have that experience. I mean, you got guys out there. You got you got, a, you got Carl. Take a knee. You know, like, what are you trying to do right now? You know, Carl's celebrating. He don't care what happens. He's like, listen, there's no way they can, sc- they can, no way they can win with 48 seconds left, so he doesn't really care what they're doing. And also want to give uh, – uh, in this game this weekend, um, we also want to give our condolences or give a special shout out to uh, Long Live Pound out of uh, Baltimore, one of our players out in Baltimore. Um, so definitely, uh, LLP has been the hashtag that we've been supporting for him and his family. So uh, Long Live Pound, um, definitely want to uh, definitely want to be able to, uh, to support our players anytime we lose anyone special. Um, one of the one one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. I remember meeting him out there in Baltimore. Um, so definitely want to give him a shout out as this game. I don't know what they're doing. I think he's maybe trying to get on the stat pad. You think maybe? I mean, that's his third completion. I think. Yeah, third completion of the game. Yeah, you figure. <laughs> and they call a timeout. What they call? T- <laughs> What's going on here? They're trying to. <laughs> They're probably doing that, like you know, that the, when you play Madden, you keep calling timeouts, and then you want to disconnect the game to see if they if you don't, <laughs> yeah, get, the, if you don't I, get the loss. Right, disconnect the game. Exactly. <laughs> you see glitches, funny. like a glitch. I don't know what what's going on here, man. I mean, you know, listen, it is net points, you know, yeah. so that it, you know, you can't really can't really ride them too hard because net points it, it, they don't play the U for the regular season. So if it comes down to net points, deciding who gets the top seed, they need to put oh, some more points on the board. What you're yeah, but not from him. Give it to Shanti. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Balls up. Can he make a catch? Oh, wow. What a catch. And let me tell you something. I don't care if that was a completion or not. 
he closed his eyes and threw that ball. He closed his eyes and threw that football. Nonetheless, that still is a first down and them chains are moving, and he went out of bounds. 35 seconds left remaining in the ball game, and BIC just being cold-blooded, disrespectful, if you will. Trying to get them stats. And for the record, that is probably, uh, that is Sterry Conjuring, fourth completion of the game. Still has a quarterback rating of negative 72. He is officially four of 16 passing. 22 yards. As BIC breaks the huddle, Jalen Cruz at the top of your screen, trying to get him involved here. And KWAC, why'd you do it, KWAC? Checks in that tight end. Alongside Jamal Harmon. Play action. Looking for that end zone. Of course. Balls up to Crooms. Is that a touchdown? And that is a touchdown. The refs call a touchdown. And Crooms, the connection to him to Crooms, has brought BIC up another six. So it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you say about Crooms. He gets to get he, he gets to walk out of here with six. Pushes up that score of 46 to 24. And like I said, folks, we had a good game earlier. It was it, 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 it came to a point where it was it was back and forth. And then after a big turnover on a 301 throw off, it you know, it, it got it got too much for Corey Hammond. And uh, it got too much it, just, it got too much for Corey Hammond to be able to recover from that. So um, the game with the game he, the game went quickly. They started he started trying to make take you know, take shots down the field. He played a great game, he called a great game. Play, yeah, absolutely. You know? Played a great game, called a great game, just you know, it just it, it came. It became too much, and it looks like they got my man Hershey, the oldest man in the league here. Checked to the I game. I don't think he's getting in now. Oh, wait a second here. For the for the record, folks, Hershey is fifty six years old. This is play action. He is older than you. Oh, Hershey! Oh no! Why would you tackle him? Oh, man, he threw it out. Doesn't matter though. That's my man Hershey. Fifty six, fifty six years old. The oldest, uh, oldest, the the oldest player in the league. Um, Said that he's going to play till he's 63. And that's going to be it, man. The clock's going to wind out. I mean, this is a beautiful game we had tonight, LJ. I had a good time. You know, I haven't called the game in a pretty long time. <laughs> Happy they had me out here. Yeah, it's, it, listen, it was a great game. Be, it, it, the, the fans the fans came out. They turned out. The players came out. All the stars came out, and they did what they had to do to make plays. Unfortunately, you know, mistakes were made if, if late in the game that the renegade that the uh, BIC capitalized off of and gave them the win. You know, I mean, at the end of the game, they you know they padded stats obviously, but not for nothing. But Corey Hamble was trying to pad the stats as well, so I don't blame him at all. So it's cold blooded. We run up the score; it doesn't matter. So, um, so just great game, like I said, great game between BIC um, and the Renegades. Got a lot more live action coming up soon. Again, I'm LJ Smith alongside here with Ryan and Paul. Thank you, folks. Good night. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, follow, and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV.